Uh, hello? Hold on. Okay, we're live. Like, actually. Um, uh, let me turn on the camera. And here I am. Hello. Um, sorry about the long wait. I had to input the darn codes. I had, like, I don't know, lots of them. Let's, let's check it. We have, whoa, 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 um, I, I just need to uh, tell people I'm actually live and, and doing this. I'm live. I need to VC if you are not. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. I think we're good. I think we're good to start. Um, I think also... Okay, so like there were too many codes. I, I kind of got um, impressed by the amount. So I kind of skipped some of them. Um, it's not too cool. I'm sorry about that. Um, next time, maybe I'll consider skipping the ones maybe that already have a lot of comments on them. Um, because they already got their feedback basically, and instead of, like focusing on the ones that don't have feedback already, um, and also like obviously focus on the ones that ask specifically which things they want to improve on. Um, so yeah, I guess well, I guess we can start. Even if there's not really a lot of people in there. So there's this first game. Let me check on Discord. Hold on. Uh, whoop! I think. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, that's cool. Uh, so let me just uh, make the window a bit smaller. So I need it to be that big. Nope. Okay. I'm streaming somewhere. Um, HTTPS which dot TV slash offers. Okay, so apparently some people are willing to do it. So let me let me do it real quick. Okay, what is this? What is I here? Wow, um, close, 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 close. Okay, good. Ooh. Ooh. A large iron bowl is watching. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you come into the voice channel because um, I'm I have streamer mode enabled, so I get I get surprised by people. Mouse, work correctly, please. Okay, Discord has quit on me. My helmet's gonna crash. It's probably gonna crash. Ha. This is awkward. But anyways, first replay. Um, from the person I'm trying to look on Discord, but it doesn't want to work. Okay, it's working now. I'm sorry. Oh, it's the one in the image. I'm sorry. Okay, that's why I didn't see it. Uh, Booga. Uh, okay, match from Booga. Uh, blocks Lusher for the first time. Uh, and they don't have any special commentary. Let's see it. And see what we can learn. Um, so by the way. Uh, I'm tired. I'm sorry. I just woke up, uh, and I just had to enter the post. So I, I, oh yeah. See, I'm tired. I only, I forgot to hide the window. 
Oof. Okay, I'm good. So what are the controls? This first game, uh, they didn't ask for anything specific, so I'm just gonna like figure out the controls again. Uh, so we're playing with Iron Gate, which is this one. Okay. What can we see? First off, there's a flank down there. They've got a pretty good control. Oh, okay, they got white. Interesting. Ouch. And again, I think the jumping was not necessary. I think I'll, I'll, I'll be repeating that a lot. Um, but jumping is not necessary when you use weapons that are supposed to have arcing shots, right? Especially when you're on the tower. You already have such a high like vantage point that you're already getting the range you need from there. And like ju jumping again does not give you more range at all. It, it doesn't, except in specific edge cases where you're like hitting above like a ledge that's way higher than you basically which in this case it's not the case because you are on the ledge so you really don't have to jump because for example here there was the, the suction bomb which he got hit by which if he didn't jump to try to hit the person farther which was way farther than he could ever hit anyways he could have like focused on staying still being at the exact spot on, on the tower where he would avoid the suction bomb and just keep firing from there, right? Without jumping, without putting himself at risk. Um, yeah, you don't need to jump. Jumping is bad. No jumping. Okay. Um, Titus from the back. I think I know Titus from somewhere on the server. Or maybe I know them from playing with them, I don't know. I know that name from somewhere. Um, let's look at the map. I mean, we don't need to look at the map because this is not turf war, so never mind. Um, okay, so it seems like I'm I'm gay. His name is focusing on being on the tower, which is cool. The th I mean, hmm. Let me think, because on this map. I don't know, it's it's a good, like, if you put the bucket on the tower, basically you've got all the surrounding areas around the tower really protected well. Um, I'm wondering if on this map that's what you want, because, like, I guess there's this whole area right here, which you could use some more range to, like, you could use someone with a, a slightly bit more range on the tower to protect and defend this area. Same for here, right? If people attack from this whole area right here, um, how are you gonna fire? How are you gonna like defend from them with the bucket? You can't really do anything because you lack a lot of range. So what I, I would probably do uh, with the bucket instead is like get like to the side of the tower or maybe like a bit farther. And whenever enemies come on it, basically your role should be to clear the tower because that's what you do best. It, you you can hit over cover over the ledge, over the tower, and you don't really have to aim, or, or like, people can't really hide from you as effectively uh, with the pole of the tower, because you have such a wide headbox, basically. Um, so that's that's my theory on it. I have never tried, however, so I cannot I cannot tell. But may, maybe consider trying this out. Yeah, okay, so here, personally, I wouldn't have got gotten on the tower. That was unnecessary. Because basically, you, you die. You hit it. You hit him the first time. You probably should have, like, just went around the tower and tried to hit again from the other side. And he would have probably been surprised by that. Mm -hmm. okay, you might, you might want to use like basically when you use your aim jet you can just stay over the tower because it gives you more height so that that way it makes you harder to hit and also gives you a higher vantage point for firing with the aim jet okay here's here's my thoughts currently i notice you don't really use your disruptor really much which could be useful especially on the tower because if you plan on staying on the tower a lot okay no, that that was sick like, if you plan on staying on the tower a lot, 
Um, like, y you'd want to win your 1v1s with the people that are contesting you on the tower. So the best way to do that is basically just to throw a disruptor on the tower whenever someone comes in. And I don't really see you using the disruptor, like, at all, basically. Also, my camera just went out. Ouch. back so that was a nice first game we didn't have to pause that's cool because we need to rapid fire through all of these uh 21 kills that's that's a lot of kills and that's a knockout so it's it's cool um now e-leader let's check what they had to say about the e-leader um whoop. hold on first off whoop. What were the new messages? We'll most likely watch the VOD, Twitch buffering too much for me. Yeah, I'm um, sorry. I. Uh, the bitrate for higher quality. Um. Average uh, speed is that we'll have. Okay, Bo says, I wish there were Summon Run replays, right? I mean, with the upcoming updates, uh, there might actually be, because um, we'll have new game modes and stuff, maybe they'll, they'll like revamp the whole system, because you have, you actually have. Fuck, my camera just quit out again. You actually have the monitor, right, in the corner, where you can see basically your match data. Not the replays themselves, but the data. I figure, okay, actually, I'm not that sure about, about the fact that you could have replays in Salmon Run, because uh, the thing is, in, in when it, uh, in all nine matches, right, in multiplayer, you only have uh, eight players to take into account, right? Whereas whenever you're playing uh, Salmon Run, basically you have all the AI to take into account, which is kind of... I mean, I don't know how you'd, you'd save that or the specific way they moved at one point, because it's not as predictable. I don't know. Uh, so maybe that... Okay, we've got three people listening to me on Discord, and they're all muted and not giving them feedback and scaring me because I didn't hear them come. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what is the sniper saying? Ingabo Hello, Ingabunga. Um, there's more stuff in my stuff in my head. Okay. Well, the bigger is definitely not helping people watch on Twitch. Uh, whatever. Where's, where's the thing? No, 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 sniper, 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 sniper. So this is the one, and now we've got, okay, Jerry Gatham, um, got jumping habit, and now they have tower control, e-leader, gameplay, you'll find I play backline weapons all the time, there are very few non-backliners I actively play, okay, so sniper, backliner, tower control, uh, hide the, the screw UI, nice, okay, uh, team comp, Range, splatter shots, good for tower. Uh, enemies have stuff. They have bubbler and the machine, which which might be good. Also, they have torpedoes. I don't know how that plays. Okay, so the enemies rush to the tower and they just die for it. Okay, good, nice. Now is the time to push on the tower. I figure maybe I don't know. The map is kind of small though, so there's not really any... I mean, I don't know, like, like killing players is not really gonna net you any advantage, numbers advantage for too long. It's 
so I guess they, they have a lot of advantage from having the big bubbler. Okay, well, they're doing a very good job at, keep at shutting them down, which is cool. Yeah, and they're doing like, I, I wanted to kind of give this tip, but I guess that's what they're doing naturally. It's like just hang in their side of the map and try to shut them down whenever they try to come close. Oh, nice close range reactions. It's cool that they're taking like more risky positions uh, to get better angles instead of staying in one spot. Especially when the tower was behind the block on the side, they could get on on the left and actually get behind the block. Bo says, "If you see me using a sniper or backline, something is wrong." Well, you know, everybody has their own playstyle. Ooh, okay, nice placement. Not, nothing to add, this is very very solid gameplay. Yeah. I I I'm thinking you, you didn't really approach the tower at any time where you got on it, but like if you ever do that, I guess just drop an ink mark. Ink mine? Yeah, ink mine. Oh. Yeah, that was the machine. As expected. Do any of you in the voice chat play snipers and have tips to give? Ooh, nice snipe. Okay, ouch. Yeah, them getting in the base, they have much much better close range options than you guys have. Uh, but you got the wipeout anyway, so that's cool. So yeah, basically if they invade you, uh, you're gonna have a hard time fighting back and they're probably gonna get more points, which they did. Um, so mainly, like, just set up defense with the E-Leader and the... Forgot the name, I'm sorry. The Red Gun. <laughs> The jet sculpter, the, the dually sculptures, yes, exactly. Okay, risky plays. There's someone got coming behind. Okay. Well, now now you need to respawn and set up defense. But I get what you did there. You tried to just like uh, balance the scores. Oh. Nice, half tap, and well, yeah, um, I guess just set up better defenses. I mean, it's hard because the map is small, especially whenever whenever the map rises, there are plenty of, of routes open for people to get in your base, which is harder to defend. Um, and it's like, Sniper is great because it has range and it's great at shutting down people approaching if you aim really well. But whenever there are multiple approach options and people can get behind you, it becomes way harder to actually defend effectively. Um, okay. Boom. Pretty pretty good. I mean, you guys got way more kills, but they still won anyways. Probably just because of the team comp, in my opinion. Um, this one. Uh, who is it? It is... Uh, uh, 
Is it this one? Yes, it is this one from Victory. Um, okay. With the squelcher. Oh, yeah, Victory. Squelchers, obviously. <laughs> okay, so they've got range. That's interesting. They've also got good close range options. And the other ones have a Hydra. Flings um, K, K. Let's see how that goes. Hydra in this fort. Good. Bo says, I finally have four stars in my splatter shot. Nice. Okay. Oh, it pitcher. Hello, the whole gang. Wait, who's who's there? Sleepy. Oh, I this one. We, we were up against uh, stuff. We were up. Wait, hold on. What what what'd you say? I remember this. We were up against uh, Cephal Rock, the guy playing Flingza. They post uh, art on Twitter again. Uh, the hey. shows up in, in, uh, Hello. What's up, Pitcher? The Hydra really gave us a run for our money. <laughs> like, yeah. also the splash, because they kept like fucking, um, like, like they kept pushing up and they weren't giving us like any time to react. Is this a replay, Olkris? Yep, yep. Yeah, th this is a replay. Uh. Uh, was somebody you? streaming? Oh, uh, wait, no, never mind. This is actually your stream. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. So the Hydra, okay. Yeah, Hydra has range. It's gonna be hard to basically fight them back. You probably yeah. wanna go around. I, there's no, like, in some modes, there are, there's the thing to go up. The, here, there's not. I guess, which one of your weapons would be the best to, like, I guess either the brush, because it can like brush over the ramp, or maybe the dually squelchers, because it can just roll over it, and then just try to to flank the hydra and kill it real quick. Like yeah, here you're gonna try to fight the people coming into your base, but it's gonna be hard with the hydra always watching your every move. Yeah, but but look at the splash. Like they're in the base like constantly and they're just like putting on constant pressure like they were sharking around the edge like look at yeah. this they 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 were just like chasing us down and weren't giving us like any anything to work with plus i think they had ninja squid right absolutely yeah <laughs> so that, that that sounds like pain like they were very very aggressive with, like way more than like a regular splash i feel so basically, I think this combo is, is like um, the splash chases you down, and while you're focused on them, the Hydra can just pick you off if you're not careful. Yeah, it was it was very hard. Wait, so so if that's picture, whose view is this? If I can find it. Out. This is uh, this this is uh, your view. Okay, okay. I can, okay. I can just swap like real quick and also mm -hmm. go up top to get an overall view. Um, so here, for example, we can see that the Hydra is dead, so that's not useful. Um, oh, this. Okay, this. Okay. Also, Chris, do you mind reviewing um, one of my games? Uh, if you have any VOD you want me to review, just go ahead and send them. Okay, I, I just wasn't sure because um, I thought other people were waiting in your chat to get reviews. <laughs> I already got like I mean, a ton of, of VODs, yeah. but like obviously if you guys are in the voice chat, I'll, I'll do these first. Yeah. I literally like 90% of my games are Dapple Dullies and then I started picking up E-Leader. The Dapple Dully? Don't you mean the Jet? The no, 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 I mean Dapple Dullies. I really? mean Dapple Dullies. <laughs> Hold on. Goodness, it's not victory. Oh no, okay, never mind, never mind. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's Stark! Okay. Um, focus on the game again. Uh, disadvantage. That's bad. What game mode is this? It's uh, Splat Zone. I'm not even focusing. One of my big problems in the game is I never focused on the objective. I only focus on people who are dead and killing people. I play this game like it's Call of Duty for some reason. <laughs> to be honest, Inkblot isn't that good of a map for Splat Zones. Like, it's a lot better for tower control. Basically, anything that isn't splat zones, I guess, in my opinion. Frog, hello, know. Frog. Oh, oh, by the way. Wait, no, hold on. Bo says I'll be able to get the Splatoon 3 amiibos early because I ordered the NFC tag amiibos off Etsy. 
Wait, what? Somebody NFC. already data mined the NFC tag codes? Yeah, NFC tag me bows for the win. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I might, I might also do oh, that. But yeah, and Frog says what's up. Uh, Frog, do you know what what's up? I'll tell you what's up. I got fifty folk. <laughs> oh, oh, what was that? <laughs> what was the hell? What was that? <laughs> that was Frog. That oh? was Frog. A wild frog encountered in the wild. Um, but anyways, what's up is that I got 50 followers and now I have VIP badges. So let me let me just show you. Let me just show you how I how I it's cool. Can I give you VIP? How do I give VIP? Oh yeah, I know, I know. Flash VIP. Boom. And then I do bow. Uh does it work? At at bow. Boom. Bow, try chatting now. Um, anyways, victory game done. Mm-hmm. They posted my replay in the okay, uh, let me, let me channel. Do, 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 do. VIP Bo, hello, you're VIP now. Uh, let me check, let me check, uh, replay, replay right here. Ba, 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 ba. And 9 EM. Yh. Now stop spamming frog. <laughs> Yhfu1l and then two nine v. Stop oh, screaming frog. Who is doing that? It's frog. They they keep scaring people for no reason. Pitcher with the hydra. Hello. Hi. On oh, meet me. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, wait, hold on. Uh, the boo -doo -boo -boo -boo. Okay. Okay, let's check it. Let's check it. So, what kind of tips are you looking for? Uh, anything in general. Okay. But I will take all advice I can get. It. Let's check it then. Nice, some range. Mm -hmm. Is that a Hydra Splatling I see? Yep. Um, can't you introduce yourself by saying stuff like hello or hi or I don't know, not high pitch screaming? No. <laughs> no other way. Like it's not Halloween anymore. We're not supposed to be scary anymore. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, so okay, here you get assaulted, which is not good. Yeah, I uh, thought I. The thing is, it was a splat bomb, and I thought I was- I, I was confident I could take out the touches, but I can't. Yeah, so here, one thing I would consider is the fact that they have, like, very good guns for approaching on this map. They have the, the brush, which is good at brushing over the grates. They have the two duelies, which is also great at going over the grates, and then they have the bucket, which, which can basically fire over the ledge, and not have to care about the grates at all. So that whole area, which is usually mostly safe for the Hydra to stand in and keep firing, is not going to be as safe uh, because of the I team comp. jumping out a lot during this match, because I just... Like, after the encounter with the touches, I'm like, okay, whenever I get rushed, I should jump out. Yeah. Basically, instead of focusing on the zone, what I would probably do is try to focus on painting uh, the area right in front of you here on the car, and maybe also painting on the area, on, on the other car, on the other side, the enemy side. Well, that way they, they can't so, possibly so. approach you through the most obvious way, because you're defending okay. that path. But they could swim up, uh, like, the wall. True. The well, but that, I, I that's get, also you your mean, job. But uh, the reason I was painting was because, oh, the? like, uh, the other team was about to win, so that's why I was yeah. helping. Well, see that that's here. again. That's my problem. I never look at the game state. <laughs> I I just give general tips for surviving and killing. But yeah, basically, also if you want to like, uh, as you said, defend the wall so that they can't come up, you can ink it from the other side uh, of of your base. I guess they can also like go around. But then if you're on the other side of your base, you can basically shoot them down if they, if they ever try to go around. It's cool that you're taking the a, a bit more front line since you guys have the map lane in. Yeah, I back up here because the bubble's gone, and I see brush, and they have zip caster, so I'm 
Ooh. Yeah, they zip cast over. I they didn't try. I, I was able to jump out. I don't know how I survived this. I shouldn't have survived this. Yeah. But yeah, I, I did. Bye, booyah. Yeah, see, but from here you have a vantage point on the wall, so that's pr you should have probably painted it like real quick, uh, as long as you had time, because that's an easy approach option if they ever wanna uh, flank you and shut you down. Yeah. It's like as a Hydra, you know, you're slow, you have you have great power, but you need to charge it up. You need to think ahead of the enemies. So basically, yeah, you need to prepare your survivability and, and set up fights that you can win by, by making range space between you and your enemies. Because yeah, like here, you see, that, that player could just like swim up the wall right now. Or just zip cast, also that works. I shouldn't have done this because I, <laughs> I, I shouldn't have wasted Booyah on uh, zip because I, I knew they were going to like recall soon. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's a panic ref reflex. Yeah. Uh, okay, so hold on. So you, uh, you're looking at pictures next? Or uh, I, I think. Th this is mine. Oh, that is yours. Or was it... Who was the one? It's the frog who was, like, spamming the screen. Who's spamming what? Um, frog? I don't, never mind. No, I was... Uh, I'm gonna... It's okay if I like I try and uh, find one in a, in a bit. Like you can uh, do another review and then I'll, I'll try and find mine. Yep, yep. Yeah. Mm, okay, so picture, nice, 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 nice game. Uh, so yeah, just think ahead of the enemies. That's that's the main deal with the uh, Hydra. Uh, we've got this one we've done. This one, bull point on Wahoo World. Let me check who it is from. Uh, also, I'll need to change something on Twitch real quick. I swear to God, is that Frog again? Yeah. Frog, please stop. Like, it's funny on stream, but here you have <laughs> actual people with ears that don't like noises. Um, hey, no, that one wouldn't be a good one to review. <laughs> so there was one where I dropped a 26, but my teammates also dropped like 10 splats. So I'm not, that's that one we just kind of won. Let's, let's, uh, yeah, okay. We totally lost. Okay, we scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. Go up, up again. Okay. Okay. From victory. Mm-hmm. And then we've got the bullet point down below somewhere. Okay, so they're okay, so they're saying I'm confused about the ends app, but they're playing bull point. Okay, I guess they're asking about the enemy ends app. Um, so just, just to check, yes, the end zap got way more kills, um, but not that many, mm, interesting, okay, well, let, let's see how that goes, uh, they got knocked out on Splat Zones, uh, wahoo, let's check it, let's check what the, what the end zap did, that was so weird, and utterly confusing. Um, I guess you can focus on the end zap, maybe. Well, the end zap right here is, is flanking, and they just got shut down. Uh, okay, so that might contribute to their how high um kill ca uh death count. Nothing special here. How do we focus on the bolt point here? Okay. So I figured they asked about the end zap because they got killed by it a lot, probably. So it would be weird to ask about the end zap if... Yeah. If you're not getting killed by you. Oh! Okay. 
Okay, I see what the problem is. I see what the problem you, is. You, you, still have the, you still have your Discord up on your uh, stream. Oh my gosh, I'm so I'm sorry. Um, okay, so the problem is, it's a really funny problem, as you can see. Interesting problem. Oh. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, I, uh, I, think uh, I, I think I see the problem with this gameplay. Obviously, the, this person is hacking. No, I think it's just lag. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know, I'm joking. Wait. What the what? Yeah, what? right. Anyway, oh, I don't think there are any tips I can This guy is great. It <laughs> Dude, I don't even know anymore. Yeah, he's like, see he's throwing, that. He's throwing that a lag? suction bump on the freaking <laughs> wall, which doesn't make sense. Okay, I'm, I'm back. What did I do? Bro, what? Oh, hey, hey this same This incredible same. gameplay from the team. Splatoon 3 in a nutshell. Splatoon 3? Splatoon 3 is Nintendo DS. Splatoon 3 launches September 9th. Anyway, 2020. <laughs> we could go into the end. 2020. Yeah, 2020 is the wrong year. 2020. For two years? 2020 yeah. on the Nintendo 3DS. Uh, okay. I, uh... September 9th, 2022. Okay, do not highlight the VAPs. You can make that in the end. Yo, this man has a Twitch chat, what the hell? Okay, so Meeks Meeks Blackburn is guaranteed green for me, says go. Okay, that's cool. Frog says I think I ate a bit too much glue. <laughs> sure. Uh, Bo says don't worry, it's non-toxic. Is it not I don't know. Imagine uh, if the game, like, matched you against people with similar internet. Now that would be horrible. Imagine if you have like a slightly terrible connection, then you'd, you'd have like non-playable no, like, games all the time. No, but it's like it, it's like very like it's a really like large. So imagine you have like people with really bad connections only matching against each other, <laughs> and then if you have if you at least have a decent connection, like at least decent. Um. Is it good? I mean, you know, that ends up probably had a lot of fun with his six dollars purchase of Splatoon chair. 3, so it's cool for <laughs> for them, I guess. I mean, sucks okay. sucks for people getting killed by a hacker, but uh... <laughs> yeah, I put a, I put a code in the uh, in that chat. Okay, okay. Uh, so this I, was, I think this is one of my like we still won, but this was one of my worst games with Apple Dooley's. Oh, not worst, worst. worse. Yeah, I, I just need to catch up to the chat, okay? I don't know what Maybe that... I should put battle replay in chat. Yeah, that, that would be cool. I guess, uh, if you have interesting games. Uh, Gabby Magpie is saying Discord is blocking the screen right now. Yes, thank you. Also, first time chat, hello. I love not being able to see the remix in Discord, sorry. Yes. I know, right? It's my favorite. <laughs> They're facing out, in and out of reality. The squid rolls are it's more like squid lenses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Let me let me take a look at the replay code. Uh, whoop. Discord. Whoop. 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 Discord I hate moment. having to go back and forth between down below. Where's the code? It's not here. Oh, it's Wait, in the Twitch chat. Uh oh. Sorry, didn't put it. I already have full idea. Huh. Uh, I'm pretty sure I put it in that chat. I put it at the bottom of that chat. Alright. Who's just... that? Uh, yo, oh, yo, yeah. Shamus. I didn't send the message. I'm stupid. I put it in. I didn't send the message. There it is. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Um. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Um. Doop, be -doop, doop, doop. Uh, I'm gonna play a game real quick just so I can make a replay of it. Yeah. You don't need to make a replay. <laughs> this oh is like, we're already. Dude, we're, dude. we're not starving for replays hi, right now. We have so <laughs> many. What's up, Yo, what's up? Just if you have, like. There's, there's way too many people in here. Just if you uh, have some no, older games Sammy, that Sammy you need tips Sammy, on. Sammy, Sheamus, and Chad, are you guys, are, are like, you guys down for like a non play? Uh, yeah, I, I was looking for a group to play with. I was just gonna say hi because I thought you already had four or no, 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 yeah, I'm not even playing right now. Yeah, I'm actually just turned on Splatoon 2 releases July 21st. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing a series real quick though because I gotta send the replay to this guy. <laughs> 
Bro. This guy. This guy. Sorry, this I this said guy. this guy. This guy right here with the beard and the curly hair. Yeah, he has a very, name. very dapper looking man. Pitcher. <laughs> I didn't turn your volume people. down yet, so you, you just like destroyed my ears. Who is. Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier. <laughs> Welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay, who's here for their replays? Who's here for the VOD review? Nights at Freddy's. Guys. This is a game that I've wanted you to request to play. Okay, so okay. I'm giving it to you. Oh no. Here's what another. I'm gonna do. <laughs> oh, never mind. I so, what are we playing? What's going on? We're just kinda chilling. We have enough for a private battle. <laughs> Okay, okay, no. so here's the deal. I'm gonna go in the channel with the limited uh, amount oh, of people Shark, you were talking about play, maybe playing something. And you guys so join me if you want to keep in. VOD reviewing. Uh, yeah, but... I know. I'm, just, I'm just gonna see this replay. Okay, good. Um, let me turn on the screen share again. Whoa, I am... Very chaotic. I am, I am here. <laughs> guys, <laughs> don't join <enjoy. laughs> Guys, play <laughs> this. <laughs> Please. Okay, thankfully there's a limit on yeah. how many people can join the channel, so that's cool. Okay, okay, I'm trying to get a legit Bro, review here. Yo, y'all locked Chatter and Sammy out, my, my boys. <laughs> Bro. Um, my bros, so you locked my I'm bros on... out. Listen, I'm on BKC oh. as well, so uh, I deserve to be here. We got this game from Shark Barret on Rainmaker Hagglefish. Rain. Let's see how it goes. Rain. They got Hydra, they got Splattershot. Um, and you guys also got range with this I wizard. wouldn't get a replay code, but I'm Dapple too Dapple is an insanely fun weapon. I have a lot of fun playing it. Yep. Dapple Doys are real! Uh, it's still on Discord, the stream. Yep. Dapple Doolies are trash. Yep, there you go. <laughs> is it okay Dapple if I send, uh, another game for a VOD re review? Sure, sure, sure. This one, yeah, this one was yesterday. But, but, but don't feel obligated to send them, because, again, again we, we're not no, no, short no, no, on no. them. No, 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 I, I, I'm with advice. I Best weapon in the game, Slosher. Do you think covering the flank? Uh, yeah, um, if you're talking to me, I'm the worst person to give advice because I'm not good at the game myself, so, uh, so... It's fine, you can, you can just, uh, yes. hang with us and learn stuff what? as, as we, you... Oh, well, yeah, but Should I'm I be learn. giving I'm advice? I'm looking to play the game, so... Are you already playing the game? Mm hmm. Oh. Mm. Okay, good, good, good job on covering the flanks. Basically, you're you're always like looking in the corners, which is good. You're using your camera yeah. to basically see around, which is very nice. And some very solid pushing. I forgot. To, uh, I have an object shredder set with this, but I forgot to equip it. Mm. So nice. Boom. Um, what can we learn from looking at the map? Uh, nothing really. I mean, they're kind of struggling right now. That guy, Super Jump, he's dead. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, the path is pretty much clear and. Yeah. Okay, nearly. I do not nearly. get it. I do not get it. <laughs> yep. But that's basically nearly a win. I don't, I don't really have any tips for, like, securing the win whenever you're really close. It's. Mm -hmm. It depends on how many people are still alive, basically, in the enemy team. Okay, interesting striking this, this, here. This, this, was just, this was just like, I was trying to see if the Hydra would come down, but the Hydra ends up jumping. Yep. Just stands there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, that, that's standing kind of there. risky. A, a risky Medicine. place is like... It, it's kind of a risky place. I know. If, if basically yeah, if they push, S you're not plus. there. Mm -hmm. We have AFK Hydras, and... Slashing machines galore. Okay, so here I think the play would be to just like get in a very annoying spot for the enemies to push the Rainmaker from if you ever die mm -hmm. and just like keep that firing. That is an annoying spot. Yep. I'm also happy much. that the Octobush protected my beacon there because then it just wasn't good. Sammy! Get that. But I mean, you know what a, a more annoying spot would be? It's the exact same spot but on the other side because then they have to use the ramp if they want to jump. Right. Okay. But th that's also fine, because like here you've got the whole map covered, basically, the, the whole mid. Mm -hmm. So you can just defend from there. That's a pretty solid plan. I mean, you can 
it yeah, this, all. Here, I, I get shot Go by the cop tank. Go back base with the Rainmaker and just shoot from there. <laughs> no, because then they get lead if they grab it. Well, okay, y you know what? They probably so, won't here. make lead because they need to take also, the checkpoint. Also, here, here's the funny, here's the funny. <laughs> okay. Okay, you're popping off right now. Okay, quad wipeout, pretty good. Bro, a quad is the same as a wipeout, but I digress. Well, yeah, but no, like, it, it's like wipeout <laughs> is that thing, but quad wipeout means that you got the wipeout yourself. Yeah. So, my thought process there was that, you know, pushing up, you know, being super aggressive with dapple dualies is it, it's kind of like it's kind of like what you're supposed to do with the weapon i guess because that yeah. allowed my team to get a really big push and it kind of like i was like a distraction or at least mm -hmm. like a fly well especially when you consider the kit of the weapon it's, it's mainly mm -hmm. for respawning very fast but i mean okay here they, they, they got the checkpoint so that's something um that is certainly something yeah, <laughs> I would definitely recommend basically just focusing on on defense right now. Mm -hmm. I, I would recommend playing this game. <laughs> and then here, I actually um, this is I actually like end up sitting back with Raidmaker here when I probably shouldn't have. No, no, that's I see okay. This guy so what I would have done Bro, right here, I would have let the enemy pick up the Rainmaker and just kill them for it. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's fair. Honestly, mm. honestly, uh, if, if you care to have my opinion, what I would have done was, um, I would probably would have reset the Rainmaker and then, like, paint it, but To get control of mid? It. Like, like, yeah. It would be better to, like, revenge kill, like, a... My teammates actually do get it here, so then that's the end. Ba basically, in most game modes, the ad most advantageous strat is to let the enemies, um, I mean most game modes, not really, like basically in tower control, what you want to do is let people go on the tower, and when they're on the tower, you kill them, and then bam, you've got numbers advantage, yeah. uh, the tower has moved like, what, 5 centimeters, you can just like, bring it back, and you have numbers advantage. Uh, Rainmaker is kind of different, because you have the bubble to pop at first, so like, just popping the bubble first gives you pain advantage for the beginning, maybe it nets you a few kills, which is uh, also mm -hmm. cool. So now, interesting idea, uh, what if I stream, like, shared my screen of Splatoon, and then I, you did like a live review, like, oh, while wow. I'm playing you the game. You need to go through Wouldn't a lot of mods first. Uh, no, maybe, I don't know. I mean, he's literally yeah, because you, you need to gaming. focus on the game too. I don't know. For, for now, we're just gonna <laughs> I, I focus on really the <laughs> We're not gonna experiment too much, okay? Yeah, that's but fair. Yeah. So and, and, do that for like a different stream. Yeah, I get that. So yeah, yeah like basically, because I'm I trying see. to make a, I'm trying to make like right now, I'm trying to make like a video guide on how to use we're, the weapon. Yeah, you you know, we're we're, we're doing vod weapon. reviews, not live coaching. If you want to have live coaching, oh, that's I'm stupid. I literally exists. I'm stupid. <laughs> Go ask Life Mr. Gem. I forgot. Right? Yeah, it's backseat. Yeah, just, it's literally just backseat gaming. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Imagine no, getting good. paid for backseat gaming. So, anyways, that was that. I said, so, uh, I, I play a lot. I have. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Then. Alright, hey, thank, thank you, Chris. Thank you, dude. <laughs> yep. I would, I would, uh, I would follow you, but I have already. Uh, and then where was it? I don't. I don't have Prime stuff up yet, so... Okay, but I, I don't have, like, you can't subscribe to me yet, because I don't have oh, yeah, the requirements have anyways. Yeah. But I follow right. is cool if you can do that, and anyways... Yeah. Uh, so yeah, what I wanted to say about the the Rainmaker here, is like, in that specific situation, right? The bubble was already popped by you. You had a lot of mm -hmm. ink everywhere. That guy was just, like, getting into the, the mouse yeah, you know, mouth, right? Yeah, of, of, like, chasing it. He thought nobody was near it, so I should have just, like... But exactly, and I even, have just even him. if he had gotten it and nobody was near, like what? He, what was it gonna do? Like he had to charge a shot, and then he would have had a, a meek he paint had, line because right, he would have had to charge two shots nothing. before he got to tower, right? Exactly. Okay. Um. And he didn't have his team nearby either to paint for him. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Next, next game, next game. Let's look at this. Right, thank you. What the game is? Ooh, too many codes. Thank you, Chris. Chris. We're, we're gonna check these codes later. We're just gonna do a few more of, of the ones that we already oh, have. Bro. <laughs> no. 
So we have, we had the bolt point, okay, with the, the, the famous end zap. So we've got these two long range blasters. Can we find the message and maybe what they ask? Uh... Bro, why, why are you using light mode? The thing is, I, I like light mode. Light mode is the original mode, by the way. Fun fact, Google launched in light mode. <laughs> the, the OGs remember. Um, light mode is usually always the OG. Fun but dark fact. mode is just... Most websites uh, have light mode as their default. Not this cringe. Cring. 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 Fun fact: If you can't tolerate light mode, your eyes are weak. <laughs> That's a skill angle. issue. <laughs> For that night, and the lights are off. Skill and issue. Like, every time I turn it on, I'm like, ah, my eyes. Skill issue. Flashbang. <laughs> I gotta come over and then one of the attempt that's Think fast, chuckle nuts! Turns on light mode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a range blaster main and I have <laughs> I a pretty decent like grasp on the weapon itself, but I feel I feel but like I know I struggle with close quarters engagement constantly. I feel like when someone gets up in my face, I'm guaranteed to die unless I get lucky and score a direct hit. That sounds like a description of how the range blaster works to me. It's like, yeah, if somebody gets close, you're probably screwed. Unless you get a direct. That's pretty much the, the range blaster for you. Uh, so let's no, check it so and see I would if just got... back up. Yeah, that's, that's crazy great. I mean, you've got so much range anyways, and you've got like indirect hits to hit behind cover. So just get, like, stand back and from an angle where, where you can hit above cover. Okay, two dapples. Yeah, okay. like you can just... Dapples, throw. aerospray, and also the Tenta missiles. I feel like this, this is going to be, like, very bad for the range. Up. Uh, again, sorry, I'm sorry. But yeah, we've got... Because whenever I'm alone, right, it's easier to focus on, on like, removing Discord, but... I'm, yeah, I'm not... My brain is not focused. <laughs> my brain is on, on focused on talking to people. But yeah, anyways, I was saying, two dapples, air spray, and also tanta missiles. That's gonna be a pain for the range. Oh, they got a triple. Yeah. Oh, they got a quad. So here, uh, I'm. I think like getting in the middle and firing to the sides is not giving you enough. Like I, I feel like you're mostly gonna hit the ground or the walls, and you're not giving yourself enough space to back up. Because here you had the wall in your back basically. Yeah, they they basically like, themselves. There, there's this hole. How can I? Okay, here. Wait, no. Whoop, whoop. Okay, here, th this whole zone could be painted, this side of the map could be painted a bit, that way you can back up. You should probably, like, uh, set some paint in here if you ever need, right, if there are people in there and you can't really approach because they've they got a pretty strong hold because they're, they're close range, right? So th if they have a pretty strong hold on there, you can just set up on the glass part in here and just fire down there and fire around corners and stuff, uh, so that's a threat. Especially here because they're, they're pushing up on you, uh, I would probably, like, go set up uh, a spot in here, real quick. Um, but yeah. But basically, if if there ever are people that are gonna push on the zones, I wouldn't ever like you know we can turn your camera. I wouldn't ever turn the camera to a ninety degree angle facing the wall. I, I would just like turn it a bit, and if I need to turn more, instead of turning, I would just back up. Because that gives you more more distance from the enemies. It, it like it's in the radius of the blast, which is good, and you won't hit the wall and get a smaller radius. Ouch. Okay, watch out for the people jumping. There's someone behind. When they're super jumping, okay, you need to watch out. Definitely, definitely have more map awareness. And if you find yourself struggling with, like, seeing people approaching or where they're coming from, just go on a on a ledge, right, and just observe for a, a few seconds. Because here, like, they're definitely super jumping behind you a lot. But I mean, you you won anyway, so that's cool. <sighs> Um, 
So Frog says on my streams I eat hot sauce and almost die, okay. Gabby Magpie comments on the end zap saying they're probably not hacking. Yes, that was just a joke. Um, no, Karen Raymaker right now is a good play. I mean, okay, they not. I don't know. I too. It was too far long ago for me to comment on this. Uh, you just have time for like 30 seconds to minute to make a push. Okay. Then they added dark mode because they, it's objectively better. No, I disagree. It's it's different. It's for people who need who you have. Like torturing your eyes. Uh, it burns. It I like burns. training them <laughs> to resist. I don't know. It's. Do you guys never look at the sun? I I basically no, live at night. I never see the sun, and I have no problem with light mode. What is your guys' problem? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's what? much more appealing to look at. Uh, light mode? Yes, it is more appealing. No, Bro, no, I not light mode. Why'd you ask? <laughs> look directly at the sword. Oh my god. Um. Could you, da -da, could no you do that? Don't look at the will turn you blind. You're like, what? Really? I looked at the sun before. The uh, Bo says, "Are they, they send a game?" By the way, the highlights are when the '96 gal does weird things with bad internet. <laughs> uh, Discord, yes, Discord. Sorry. Uh, okay, so let's turn on Discord and not forget to oh! remove it afterwards. Oh! Oh, no, never mind. We don't need Discord because we're just gonna look at another <laughs> game from the same person um, and give more comments. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. Oh, we can do multiple reviews. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do another series. <laughs> <laughs> no, hold on. Cause they, cause they sent five, and I was like, no, now nah, I'm definitely not gonna do that. Okay, they're playing against like, Japanese players. That's gonna be a Actually, pain. Do it with a different uh, just because someone has a Japanese name doesn't mean like they're cracked at the game. Why? What, what yeah, do you mean? That's that's purely a scientific fact. They're obviously cracked. Japanese <laughs> players are, are scientifically proven to be better players. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Where's the document? Um, uh, that's what I thought. Tournaments? No, but, but actually if you look at the other competitive scene, like Japanese players, I mean they're just more players and they just play better. I mean they're more serious I guess. Um, so when, whenever you look at tournaments, like e even like uh, Jam said on, on his video where he basically said where he was at in terms of skill and, and his level. He was basically saying, yeah, Japanese players are, are better than us, and we're still struggling to understand whatever the fuck they're doing with the meta, <laughs> and how good they can play with weapons that we didn't even consider. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> I know a lot of uh, Japanese... Well, I, I, first of all, I, I know, I, I'm aware that Japanese players, um, like, most Japanese players are, are good at the game. I think when um, a game is released in your like, you, you know, know you, I guess, you, or, or where you live, um, like people are gonna take it more seriously. Ooh, double. Yep. Uh, do, do, do you want like instant proof that uh, having a Japanese name makes you better? Uh, my friend Frog just switched their name to Frog in Japanese, and they instantly became better. <laughs> hey, bro. Uh, uh, that's proof for you right there. Um, so what what can we see about this game? Nothing much, they're pretty much winning for now. I would probably hit more around corners, uh, I guess. Nothing... They were just out in the open, and they just sort of, like... Just I mean, I, what I currently see is that uh, the enemies have m much more of, of their sides covered, because, like, obviously they needed different approach options to take you down. Whereas you guys don't really have that, um, so now would be the time to basically try to approach from flanks. Uh, maybe get the high ground in here as you did at the beginning of the game and try to shut them down from up top. Where are um, they gonna flank? You can only move from what, for like, like the middle and like the side, the, the right side. This trap is just a straight line. <laughs> No, nah, it's not. There's like, you can approach from here. You can like get down there and, and fire up top. You can get through the middle here, e either like on this block or on the grates. 
you can go all the way around there. And yeah, you have lots of approach options. I guess you can, you can stand below the grates and fire on, on the right side here. You can get behind the car and fire a bit farther because this car is, is more closer to the enemies. Uh, lots of stuff you can do. Uh, here I just back up. Like here you're standing in your ink. Uh, so like instead of keeping to fire forward, I would just like fire backwards, cover my my like back. Like me, metalworks are two words that don't go together. I re I agree with you, man. I Chris doesn't get it. Uh, it's like that in Smash 2, Japanese mana is very different from the States, yep. Clank and Minxmeat Metal looks like two words that don't go together. What do you mean? No! It's just a straight line. It's not a straight line. Like, if, if you remove all the little, like, corners, it's literally just a straight line. Well, yeah, except the corners exist, so it's not a straight line then. <laughs> yeah, but they're just dead ends. <laughs> no, they're not! They're walls which you can climb up on. It's basically... Wait, okay, hold hold on, hold on. If you <laughs> no, go no, there, no, no. right? No, if listen, listen. This wall is it's not a dead end. It's basically a one way path. So it's it is a flank. And it is a flank which the enemies cannot counter flank you on. So like really think about that. I mean, except that enemy which like just went into your base. Like if you if you forget about that little pesky guy, that is a free way into their base which they cannot contest. Okay, and if they don't pay attention, You've got the ability to like use the range blaster from from down there, and just shut them down if they, if they ever like stand in here to defend the spot zone, right? D do not think that this is a dead end. This is not a dead end. This is a one-way flank for you guys. Yeah. Um. So yeah. You only have two options. You no, you don't. <laughs> yeah, you do. I mentioned I mentioned a go. lot of options. Did you listen? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> they don't make any sense. You can only go through the middle between the two trucks. And I guess the, like, the quote-unquote flank or the route on top of the trucks can count. But... L okay, listen. So no map is ever in, gonna be like the, the reef from Splatoon 2. On the right but it, left, but it's fine. No, not... <laughs> depending on how you're looking at the map. Like, okay. it, it, you basically only have two, maybe three options. To, to like that's enough. Approach your like, flank. That's no, enough. <laughs> you've got three options and you've got four enemies. It's basically the same. You kill a few enemies, you've got numbers advantage. Bam, you've got enough flanks for all of them. Mahi Mahi and Tower Control are two words that don't go together. <laughs> yeah, you want to know I why agree. I don't actually hate that map that much? Like. It's it's Bro. tough in in like before the map like lowers down, but it, there's still some strats to do. And like if you've got long long range, it's great at shutting down people who are gonna try to approach because it's so hard to approach and and the middle is so exposed. So that's that's a cool strat. That's why so people you... don't like it because it it's so exposed exposed, and it's literally okay. Sniper but instead hell. of complain, well yeah, but instead of complaining, you should just like accept that a map exists and play. To its advantage, right? I'm not right? complaining. I'm trying to <laughs> change it. I'm not complaining. I am trying to give my opinion. I think. Your wrong opinion now. <laughs> but but it's like oh, you you like basically you're just agreeing with the comment which which says mahi mahi and tower control are two words that don't go together, That's right? Like Why wouldn't they go together? Mahi There's a mode that exists. Right. True. Magpie is speaking facts. No. That yeah. <laughs> We're here to give constructive <laughs> criticism, not not you. like say they're that people not, don't have rights because they play either eligible. weapon. Okay, we we need to give serious criticism. Okay, <laughs> if, I'm, if, I'm sorry, Chris. Chris, what weapon do you mean? Uh, all of them basically. M meme weapons. I, I like okay, meme. But what what are your top three weapons? Uh, l let me take let me take a look. Um, but it's basically. What weapon class do you prefer the most? Like backliners, skirmishers. I have literally no clue. Um, I okay, so I play the, I I play the octobrush specifically to spam bombs. Oh, uh, okay, so octo octobrush with ink recovery up and LDE. That way I can just spam bombs. And then I use the zipcaster to. Spam bombs. They suck 
suction bombs, like splat bombs and burst bombs are meant to be spam, not suction bombs. They eat up too much ink. <laughs> well, that's, that's why I have ink recovery up. And and here's the good the good thing about that. It's like the suction bomb is much better at, at zone control. And if like basically you can really control where people go. And the good thing about the October specifically is that if they like if you force people to go closer to you, you have a way to kill them with at close range. And if you ever like you have the Octoburst basically to create more zone control by getting into positions where they can fight back at you and just paint. So that's good for splat zones, especially on uh, Hagglefish mar Market. Because you can get on top of the, of the junk pals. Uh, then I play Explosher because it's fun to yeah, hit Yeah, that's a bad people. play. No wonder you like Mahi. N I, I never played Mahi w with Explosher, um, so nope. And I just recently picked it up. Then <laughs> I play... <laughs> I play I play the blob blobler because I love to use um, the sprinkler and I I run max sub power up on it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Do not what ask questions. Hell? Do not ask questions. I I, Bro, I run. You're wasting your slots. No, it's very good. Yeah. It paints, it paints see, good see, for long. You use e leader. Of course, you're gonna defend Mahi. <laughs> No, I never used E leader on Mahi. Maybe like a few times. I dropped. I it. I dropped the E leader hard. Now, now I play that thing because it's fun. Uh, what else do I play? <laughs> this thing. That's this about thing. it. I, I guess the dapples. I play a lot of dapples at some point. Class blaster. Class blaster is my favorite. Uh, it's better splatter shot. Uh, uh, don't at me. No. Luna blaster no, is fun. Because you Bro. can hit around corners, and this one is also for spamming the bombs. <laughs> Ink brush I get for spamming b b bombs, but Octobrush, no, 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 no. Of course it is! Okay, no. one, okay, so wanna... I have a replay for you guys. Yeah, I, I you have a replay like, for you guys. Make a kit surround it, surrounding Why not? Your sub. Why not? It's the waste. Like I would, I only use I, like two I dare subs to contradict of, you. I'm uh, sorry. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. I saved that game specifically because I thought it was cool with the bombs. So let, let let me let me show you how it can actually work. I understand the concept. You're constantly throwing suction bombs, and the form gets too close, and you can just smack them around. Yeah, but but, but look at the pressure I, I'm able to. Put on these guys. This hurts me as a, a brush main. Like, I'm gonna just get in there, just shark a bit, and just spam the suction bomb, right? And it's so good because the suction bomb paints the zone for you. It basically prevents the enemies from getting close, uh, and yeah, it, it basically it's, it's basically do, sections though. off a whole a whole half of of the um, of the splat zone. And then you see, I just like go forward without getting in, in danger with the Octobrush, because I use the bombs instead to basically fight for me. <laughs> and people can't approach. And you're gonna see at some point somebody tries to approach, and I just boom suction bomb. He's like, oh shit, I'm I'm gonna back off. Here you see, I I. Spam bombs, Junior and brush ex exist. Thank you, Mac. But but Thank but you. see Thank see you. what I did there? I threw the the suction bomb behind him, and he was forced to approach, and then I just like slapped him. <laughs> Such a dumb argument. <laughs> um, no, it's a pretty good argument, but I do Look think at this. Well, yes, no. like, and and okay, see, I, here I, people I, try I to flank me, I use Zipcaster and I bam, wipe out, I pin the zone. Now let me let me just go back because maybe I feel like oh, there's on. a weapon specifically for that. Hmm. Hold on, hold no, on. Like, it's not like there's a weapon that you start out with that is basically made to spam bombs. Hmm. I no, wonder what it is. Hmm. Hold well, no, on, because no, no. this one has a suction bomb. So see that guy who tried to approach right now? And he was just forced to go back. Basically, th that guy could have like approached me and maybe tried to kill me. But I was like, nope. Right? And he, boom. He instantly had to retreat. So that's... You're zoning with an octopus, though. You could use other weapons for that. Like the, uh, the Splatana stamper. But I don't want to. Yeah. I don't and... want to, because in case someone gets close... Bruh. I can get behind walls, right? Especially the walls on on Hagglefish near the splat zone, and I can just slap them safely. And if people ever get on us, I have the zipcaster. I get on top of the things, and I just paint above them. Bro, yeah, but bro, you can also bro. do the same thing with Splatana. Listen, listen. Stamp yes, it. But, this, but this one has four of damage. 
It, it, as, it, well, as, listen, it's a weapon that exists. My strat works, and it's fun. Bruh. I am yeah, having fun with the game. He physically carried you. Like, look at this no, no. <laughs> What do you mean the other people carried me? <laughs> they were... It's not about the mind. kill count. See the people that tried to approach and they couldn't approach because I had the suction bomb? Oh my god. <laughs> it works. I do say it works. <laughs> it works. <laughs> I mean... Okay, okay, okay. The like, reaction you're having right now is just because you're surprised that Chris, it works and, and you're thinking Chris, it shouldn't work, but it does. Chris, and it's fun. no! Why do you keep it's assuming already. that? Chris, listen, you don't want to run. Like, all I want to. I swear, I want to. Just for this That's. <laughs> listen. Okay, it's the it's the point. I I hate running like normal or, or sensible gear on my <laughs> builds. It's it's too it's too obvious, right? If you say an octobrush play like an octobrush, you're gonna be like, okay, this is an octobrush. I know how to deal with that. <laughs> if you say a freaking octobrush shark and spam suction mods, you're like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I don't know how to play against that. And that's fun. That's how I like to play the game because. It's it's just more fun and interesting. Okay, okay, I want to okay, be the Yoshi I... from Melee that changes oh, the meta, okay. right? Okay, okay, Chris. I, okay, I. You make good points, but if if I could give However... you some some criticism for like your build, I like I would run Ink Saver sub like a main of it, and then run three subs of uh sub power up because that will increase like. Uh, the range of where you throw your bomb so will give you more poking power. Also, um, I would run two subs of special power up that, cause that increases the duration of zip caster by half a Here's second. Here's a tip for you guys. And do not use, uh, Power, um, special power up on zip caster ever. Cause here's the deal. Do you no, know what zip caster is great at? Just going in, being annoying, not necessarily getting kills, but the, the main point is getting out safely because the timer runs out. If you ever get into danger, you can just spam your, your brush until it runs out and then bam, you're back to your where you started without yeah, getting killed. You could just zip cast out of danger. And it doesn't like, the work reason... as well. And it's not as efficient as just running out the ability, right? And oh honestly, if I if I would ever run something to help improve my zip caster, I would just um, have like a uh, special charge up because then I can have more zip caster more often, make more plays more often, but get out safely all the time without risking to stay too for too long, right? Um, and, and I think that affects the game in a better way. Honestly, <laughs> I, I would run something like this. Look, look at my screen, Chris. Yeah, like... hold on. Uh, screen, 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 Discord, when we, oop, Discord on the stream. Um, yeah, I was I was thinking the same. I was thinking last dish. Like, if you want to run something like spamming bombs, it shouldn't it shouldn't be your main kit. You should just use last dish for that. Yeah. <laughs> Last but it is still my main kit because I want to spam even more. In, like, do you know how many bombs I can spam with that thing whenever we're under like thirty <laughs> percent? It's crazy. And, well, like, okay, I'm, you can you can always do more. The the thing with like um the with sub saver is like it's not as great for spamming, which is obviously what I'm looking for. It's great for whenever you throw one bomb and then you want to have enough ink tank um left to be able to fire your main weapon, which is cool also. But it's just not what I'm looking to do, cause you know I'm I'm all about meme gears. Maybe like something like this, where you have like two subs of ink recovery up. I I honestly <laughs> wouldn't run a main. I would use that. I just don't understand why you use Octobrush for it. There's other weapons that can spam. Yeah, yes, like Junior better. and <laughs> and Ink Brush. No, I'm talking about suction is... like suction bombs uh, in general. Like uh, Octobrush is good for it, but there's End Zap and Splatter Shot, which would probably yeah. do it a lot better. No, but it. <laughs> Let me run my meme builds. It's fun. It's fun. What can I say? <laughs> Alright, no, yeah, do whatever you want. I'm just saying. <laughs> you I, can I, I, I again, my I just want to be the Yoshi that changes the the melee meta or something. I don't know. Okay. Uh, and also, okay, because you know what? I'm I'm the type of player you see the the tier list from uh from Gem uh about the subs and and basically he ranked the um, suction bomb. Wait, not not the suction the um, a curling bomb and the angle shooter all the way down, and also yeah. with the um, with the freaking 
uh, toxic mist and I'm like okay that's kind of sad and I'm motivated whenever I see this to actually main these subs just to like try to prove prove it wrong and and like find a use for them right find wow did you know you can do that and people are like whoa you can really do that that's awesome uh bam it's it's suddenly like the best sub in the game or something um hey, there, there's a reason why they're so low on the list like no. it's not because like it's underrated I, it's just I it's know. just bad and there's no, not yeah, that's it's very situational it. And, okay, you want to know? It's not necessarily true, because there's actually people who are dedicated oh to God. the curling bomb, and the curling bomb is actually pretty sick. The, the thing is, all work. the weapons are balanced, like, in a way. It's just, when, at the difference of the top and the bottom of the tier list isn't that big, compared to, like, something like Smash. The thing this game is, is that very balanced. You yeah. don't use curling bombs to get kills, it's used for, like, mobility. <laughs> No, you can also get kills with it. It can it can yeah, kill. Fun fact, it can kill. No, and if you're good, you can kill with it. You just need to yeah, play them not... correctly. It's not good for poking. It's not good for spacing. It it's only good <sighs> if for like only, getting if, somewhere if there, faster. There's actually a channel map. which I, I might share with you uh, later on, which like basically they they're all about the freaking uh, curling bomb. They have like stream overlays for curling bomb kills specifically. They're like, they love curling bombs, and they just, the way they play it, you're like, oh shit, I didn't know I could do that. Like, did you know you can throw, throw curling bombs above ledges? Did you know curling yeah. bombs are better at getting surprise kills because people do not know their trajectory, whereas you do because you're the one who threw it, and they do not know when it's going to explode, so it's better at surprising players? Did you know um, the bombs, can you can do a trick where you throw it like right over the ledge, it charges up, and then it falls off the ledge when it's like nearly charged up and whenever it touches the ground it just explodes instantly. Did you know the curling bomb can do that without the hassle of having to aim precisely? Fun fact. Curling bomb is not that bad. Though. Did you know you can do that trick on all the ledges which is not situational at all? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say like, <laughs> So yeah. The curling bomb definitely has its uses. It's just... Other Fun fact, did you know the curling bomb yeah. can bounce off walls and do some sneaky tricks? And did you know uh, it would be extremely good at, <laughs> at playing on mincemeat, actually? Because you said there are these, like, dead ends. If there's someone in the dead end and, like, you don't really want to go in there and fight them, just throw a fucking curling bomb <laughs> and they're dead. Or, or they're not dead, but then you can cover them whenever they try to escape and go up. Yeah, but almost... Every other bomb can do that, like fizzy, splat bomb, yeah. suction bomb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, except this, what, what except this one has it, another like... approach angle. It's di it's Chris. different. It's different. It has oh, its uses. It's yes, it definitely has its uses. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying that the reason why it's so low in the tier list is that it's just it excel. It doesn't excel at more than just mobility. It, it yeah, can other do it. Bombs it can certainly do can. Is it that it doesn't excel, or that people don't more. excel with it? That is the question. Who's huh. bad, the sub or the people using them? <laughs> the people uh, and the sub, probably. Yeah, I was about to say both, but... <laughs> but, okay, yeah, anyways, I mean, really anyways, 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 we, 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 we need to get good. back to VAR reviewing because that's the point of the stream. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, yeah. Oof. Where, where's the channel? Where's the channel? Uh, oh my god. Back and I had fun with the argument, though. Yep, or yep. a discussion. I don't know if it's mm. called an argument or not. And that's the thing. You see the angle shooter? Like, I, I wanna I wanna find something that you can do with it. Like, maybe because the income sunshine is low, you can throw multiple ones, maybe... I don't know. Like, maybe it's good specifically on mincemeat for, like, scanning people behind the, the dead like, ends. Yeah. You have to aim at them, like, precisely, so... Why use an angle shooter when you can... Why use an angle shooter when you can just shoot them? <laughs> I, I'll find something. I'll find something. Anyways, um, <laughs> Japanese players. No, we can both unanimously agree that <laughs> angle shooters. Yeah, yeah it's apparently. Shit. Oh. Hey, and see, that's the thing. You, you, we might all be saying, "Oh, angle shooter is bad," and then you see a freaking Japanese player just main it and like destroy everybody with it, and you're like, "What the heck?" You can't, you can't really main a. Yeah, it's not 
How is that to the person who mains who mains the freaking curly mom? I, not I'm not the one saying sub. it. It's like point sensor, but worse. It's different. Yeah, no shit, it's different. Why do you think <laughs> there was another sub made around tracking people? Exactly, so maybe it's not worse. Maybe it's just different and we don't know how to play it. <laughs> Uh, it's Bro, certainly the the angle shooter should get fired. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> Let's find the games. Where is it? Um, so oh, we have. The, okay, this one was the. I totally forgot where we were at because so many stuff ends up confusing. Okay, this one we looked at the two um, range blaster games. Um, this one. Splash shot main. What should I do while playing defense? Okay, defense. Uh, splash shot defense. Boop, 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 boop. Let's go. Also. Chris, Chris you saw Discord up. Yep, 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 yep. Thank you. Uh, for telling me. Um. Bo is saying they should add the Seeker back to Splatoon 3. Well, we've got the curling bomb and the, the chicken. I absolutely okay, forgot the, the actual EDH, name of the sub. I, auto bomb's pretty good. Yeah. It's, just it's, it, it's, it's not made to like, uh, get fixed or spacing. It's good to see if like an area is safe or not, because uh, if it's not the Chicken will uh, go to the next person if it is, so uh, we'll just explode on the spot. Okay, so here we're looking at defense. Um, zoom in. Okay, wipeout. I, I see, like, wipeouts for either team. I feel like Japanese players are more... are playing closer to one another, because one time I, I was paired in a, in a Rainmaker game, uh, with Japanese players and they just like dunked on us because mainly all of the three of them went through the usual route and the machine, the slushing machine was flanking. And Not all those people are Japanese. One of them is just a math equation. Yeah. <laughs> He's not Japanese. What, what, what is your country of origin? Math. Um, Ew. But yeah, um, the, the thing I'm noticing with Japanese players or is, is like they just push on the Rainmaker a lot. They get up close to the shield. They just like throw their life at their, their life at it. They just try to pop the bubble. And um, in the game I played with them, that kind of worked because um, they popped the bubble. We couldn't do anything. And then they had pain advantage. They got a kill. Then they just, like everything just spiraled down from there. What we mainly see here is like. They're just like pushing a lot and and getting wipeouts uh, for either team uh, one by one. Like they're not focusing as much on painting the the back of the map, which is probably like if you want to focus on defense, you should probably like focus on stuff like like paint advantage, uh, slowly progress the numbers advantage. Right, just just go slower basically is what I would suggest. Uh, splatter shot, okay. Especially because I think the enemies have m m uh, longer range weapons than you guys have. Yeah, see, you're, you're kind of like trying to, to spawn cam that guy and then you just get killed from behind because you, you weren't paying attention to the, to the back. And here, like, okay, they're approaching, and you've got, like, only two persons defending, and they already have pain in your base, which is not advantageous. Like, it, it's a really awkward fight right now. Just because, like, they've got so much pain in your base. <laughs> yeah. It's like you're, you're focusing too much on fighting and less on controlling the zone. And that's what defense is about. It's not about... Like, defense is not about outkilling your opponents. That's just attack, right? Attack equals not uh, defense. They try playing defense, so 
people just end up stalling the game out for the time they want to go. So they kind of have to go on out of pause and try That's to only get they're a stalling, push they're pushing right now. Uh, you want to defend like the area that they're trying to push. And that way if they can't get in, you can just kill them all. Just, just paint, paint, paint. Bro, that guy You're... just wasted two of their three shots for Zuka. That's yeah, that happened. Sad. Uh, so yeah, we just focus on, on painting back the middle. Maybe not so much pushing, right? Because you've got a pretty decent timer on the... on the. I mean, okay, that... okay, th okay, that works. Okay, learning something new. Oh, okay. Sure. I did not know you could do that. I That's interesting. I think that was gonna happen, okay. Wait, the guy was still holding the Rainmaker. He just won. Yeah, I know, but it showed that he was still holding the Rainmaker. I don't get it. Oh, at the very end. Uh, yeah, um, this is the very end. So, Gab... <laughs> Gab Gabby Magpie says, but Curling Bomb and uh, Autobomb are kind of better. Yes, I agree. It's good. Um, Autobomb I agree with, but not Curling. It's only good for mobility. Fuck, I did I post... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oops, we're just gonna ignore that. Why? I, uh, sorry, it's, uh, accidental, um, po uh, the control V, do not look at it, I cannot delete it, it's annoying. Do you mind uh, if I sent another, uh, uh Yeah, go ahead. Angle shooter can harass back and to finish off low players, yeah, okay, I'm scared for life now. I'm sorry, do not look, I'm, I'm terribly sorry, I'm terribly sorry. What did you send? I freaking... Bad link from my co copy paste thing, which is bad, and nobody should look at it. Why would is it? it? <laughs> and people clicked on it because I'm because I'm dumb. Because usually what I do is like you know on Twitch you can add markers, um yeah. to to basically oh, like you know... also have to do vod reviews for uh, Sammy. Yup, yup. I'm I'm gonna do that. Hold on. Um, yeah, I can wait. But, but basically, like you can you can uh, what I do is like, I. Control copy co uh, copy paste uh, slash marker. That way I can just like place markers really easily, and uh, that backfired on me because uh, I didn't do that right now. I had another link. Whoops. Sorry, y'all. Uh, anyways, uh, next one, next one. So you guys want me to take a look at one of the clips you just sent, right? Sammy's. Do Sammy's. Okay. Uh, I see two oh, okay. clips. Whoop. Ba -da 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 -da. So we've got. I uh, just seen uh, I was talking in VC with like five people while I was making these. So <laughs> just know I wasn't focused at all. See. So what are you looking for you know, in terms of uh, tips? Uh, mostly just like uh, what fights I should and shouldn't be taking. Sometimes I find myself dying because I go in the wrong spot at the wrong time. Okay. 6v... Uh, 76v, okay. Boom. Here we get the replay. Boom. Replay, 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 replay. Boom, boom, play, play. Okay, good. Why are we using... Quickly to Sammy? Oh. Oh. Okay, you guys got some range. They also got some range. Uh, you guys are playing on tower control, okay? With a 52 go. Okay, you're kind of playing risky by going all the way into the enemy's base and fighting from there, like looking back, but it kind of works, so that's cool. Mm -hmm. See, one thing you, you can't really do whenever you're playing um, 
in the game. I mean, I guess you can look at your map and get get a pretty good idea of the paint and how it is. So that's that's good. Uh, but I guess here it's it's better because you can see the enemies where they are specifically, and you can look around. Um, yep. So what did you say you wanted to get feedback on again? Uh, mostly just like where I should be, where I should and shouldn't be pushing. I have really bad timing. Like I want to know which is uh, what fights I should be better be taking. Well, I mean, usually you want to take fights whenever your opponents are are close to you and able to assist you. Uh, basically, what I see you're doing is um, getting behind enemies and trying to hit them from behind. So that's better to do whenever you have uh, teammates like actually fighting from the front. That way they distract them while you do the killing from behind. So basically just look at your teammates, look at what they're doing and how you can play off of that. Okay. Like the fact that you are able to kill the enemies from behind is not necessarily just because you're outsmarting them, it's maybe just because they're they're just getting distracted. So just as long as you as you notice this. Um, uh, you can play off of it. I think I think you can take fights uh, from the back, even without teammates. I mean, you can, but then the then the enemies might turn to face you and and actually like notice you. Whereas if they're already fighting a teammate, then you have a much easier time taking them down from from the back. Also. The fact that you're a 52 gal, usually 52 gals, from what I've heard, they have the splash wall, so they just like uh, place it down and just fire from the front. They're not as much getting behind. That's more the more so the job of uh, uh, weapons like you know, the splatter shot or or the S -plush. I mean, right now I don't really know. I mean, you, you've got a really good advantage. I would have probably put a wall there just to be to have like some working space, especially because like since you're in the enemy's base, you're just gonna be like pushed from all sides because they can respond much faster and they can uh, like jump to a specific spot in their spawn. So like, if you have a wall, at least you have some amount of cover. Okay, okay, okay. So use wall more basically and okay. try to contest them. Night always flank. Alright. Yeah, basically create cover where there isn't any for you. Because uh, there is not really cover in, in their spawn. Um, next game, next game. Okay, more games here. Boom, a Hydra. Um, from an unknown person that is called Fey Wild. So they have some range. They have the dapples. The other team has um, range, but not as much. And they're playing on Columbus Hammerhead. Okay, so well, let me catch up with the chat. Awful so map. Just, that's, that's pretty yeah. good. Can I just? Can I? Um, can I jump on here? No. Whatever. I've had to witness can this in a different Some forces by laws of different men, I say, liberate your sons and dies. Bush is high, but the hole there is water. Now, you can get some when you do nothing. I don't know what this whole message is. Floor. Um. There's some fruits of something, hey. There's either a little Not focusing on the game. Darn. Okay. Hmm, Hydra is right. Um, where is it? Where is the Hydra? Oh, here. 
I don't know. I've never played Hydro on this map on Flamblades. I've barely played Flamblades on this map, actually. I guess here you could probably uh, take the middle block to have some height. And also, like here, you got killed by someone coming through the left, which you didn't see because you were uh, behind that block. And if you were on top of the block, you probably would have seen them coming and be able to be to fight back. I assume. That would just make it for the other team. Th that would just make it make uh, them easier to see. And they could easily be picked off. Normally, when I play Hydra, and I. Uh, I would only get on that block when we have map control. But well, they they had pretty good control at the, at the time. I mean, they they obviously like here the the person rushed them and they lost the control. But yeah, it's obviously not a, a spot to stay on. It's it's mid, so obviously it's gonna like be taken back and forth by the two teams. Yeah. Okay. That that was a risky play to go get the the clam. Because like anyways, even if you get what are you gonna do as a as a backline weapon, as a Hydra specifically? Hi also, Hydra is really slow. So. Yeah. I mean, it's good when you have a full charge. Just... The the thing is, especially with the Hydra, I think you you do not want to get into a place where a lot of enemy ink is, unless it's like I'm. You don't want to get somewhere that is not painted because. Painting for you is going to be really hard if you don't have time to prepare. So, like going to get that power clam was extremely risky. Because what are you going to do once you get it? You're, you're not going to be able to escape. Yeah, 52 is a great flanker because you can put the wall and basically stay in a spot that is that that is good for shooting, but also that is not easy to stay in. Uh, but that's as long as you use your wall. That's why it could be a great flanker. The thing here, it, 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 like the the 52 gal player was mainly just getting behind the players, not in specific flank positions where where they could use the wall. So yes, it is, it is a good flanking weapon, but that like not in the specific way that was played in in the last game. Yeah, because uh, I'm usually a roller player, so I'm used to just going behind and just going like that. Okay, so here, uh, not a lot of time left. Wipeout, that's cool. Um, <laughs> did they try to grab the power clone of the enemies? Yes, yes, they did. <laughs> Okay, here. Okay, here. Your job is not to go and push up, cause uh, that's not what your weapon is. Like, yeah, the timer is like low, and and you need to score points. But like going, okay. Well, you know what I would have probably done here is like you had five clams, not enough to get a, a power clam. Maybe you should have looked at your, at your teammates and seen if you could have thrown some clams to them, even like all of them, just to make a power clam and and initiate uh, overtime. The thing about that is this was probably a solo queue match, so it might have been hard. Depending on like what rank these people were in or what their skill level was, it might have been hard to like communicate that to them. Also, No, um, but it's, it's just like if in, you throw clams at, at your Chris. allies, they're just like, they're just gonna get a power <laughs> clam. Chris, I... Yeah. Um, if your teammates aren't doing anything to like push up, if you need to make a push, then sometimes the backliner has to be the one to make to initiate that push. That's, that's just how it is. Like I have to do it all the time as Hydra. Now I I know I know, but like 
like here in this specific conditions, they needed a power clamp to initiate overtime and they didn't have one. So like what I, what I would have done is just like throw clams at my teammates. Even then, I don't think they would have had enough clams. Um, to Maybe, I don't know. Get but the like lead. that that would have been like, something I would have considered. 13 clams to get a good push in cuz it can go into a power clam and then the rest can be used to hold the basket open while I mean as long as they get the power clam before the clams, time runs out uh, and continuing the push as long as they get a power clam before the time runs out and they have overtime they can then focus on getting more clams to to get their push actually going right but first they just need to get the power clam to get the overtime okay um okay 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 would you look at mine uh, yep, I think sure. Discord. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. Here we go. Yawn. Uh, actually, hold on. It's real quick. Smoke marker. Whoop. That is better. I've okay. I've been yawning for two hours. For two hours, and I'm still ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> We sp we've spent so much time arguing about like maining suction bombs or not. So we did. No, it was about like using a ridiculous amount of ink recovery out for suction bombs and using octobrush uh to using octobrush to spam suction bombs with even though uh zap exists. <laughs> but I digress. And Zap is a more support-oriented weapon, so it'd make more sense to use that yeah. for Octobrush. Octobrush is a slayer. I mean, it would only use bombs to to poke and like force and to get control of like a specific part of. That is because the map. It, you think it's a slayer because you're not thinking outside the box. Oh and... my god, it is a slayer. Maybe, <laughs> but maybe I'm not the a next slayer when I play it. it. Will be like a support or something. Like I am not a slayer Nova when I play the too. Octobrush. So if if you go into a game with me and you're playing against you're me and you think, okay, he's a slayer because he's right. playing Octobrush, you're not gonna fight effectively against me because you're not gonna see the Octobrush for what it really is when I play it with my kid. It's a slayer. Slash skirmisher, and it's not, it's when not I support. Play it. it's okay, not let's support see your game. Let's see how you play the octobrush. Oh my goodness, can we please, please? Like, stop. Let's see how you play the octobrush. <laughs> oh, Peter, you're about to get reviewed. Yeah, you're gonna be like, oh, you should be throwing bombs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you pr you probably should anyways, because it's always good at at setting up fights. Since you lack range, the bomb is great at setting up a fight. It's like. That's, that's why Octobrush has it, it's for poking! That's but I so wouldn't cool. dedicate okay. like my full build to like, surrounding a suction bomb, unless like... Okay, I, okay. I don't know. The, the, let, let's just watch and give tips, basically. Mm -hmm. One thing I might recommend... Um... Bombs. Which which is like advanced? No 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 no. One thing. Uh, stop bombs? being stop being mad. Stop being mad. I'm not being mad. I'm not. One thing I would recommend, uh, which is kind of advanced of a technique, is like if you wanna uh, brush down to escape but still have a view of the enemies, you can just like look at them and just brush down on, in the other direction as long as you know the map layout. Well, you're actually this doing quite fine my, so far. Uh, this is, no, that's good. This has been my main for all three games. Like, I've been playing this weapon since Splatoon 1. So you're probably saying, like, what the fuck is that guy doing with my main? How, no, how is he, like, no, you're messing it up? No, into my mouth. I never said that. <laughs> I know you're thinking it deep down. <laughs> but, yeah, um... Uh, I, I was just being super... Uh, ba ba basically, like... If if you're not if if you're not and you should probably not obviously play like main the suction bombs like I do, but I what I would do if I'm not like memeing with the suction bombs is just throw one right before I enter a fight right because you've Whoa. got enough of an ink tank to to finish the fight anyways and oh the the suction bomb is just like great at assisting you it's like going into a Whoa. fight without a suction bomb is kind of. <sighs> 
<laughs> Not the way I see it is whenever I respawn, I throw a suction bomb down so I get some paint for my special. Like, I can send you more Octave Rush games if you want to see more. I think the only... No, I, I, I wasn't like answering to your gameplay specifically, I was just like giving a general tip of what I would do if I'm not memeing with the suction bombs. I just throw one, bef like if I see an enemy and I know I'm gonna fight that guy, I just throw a random suction bomb anywhere, because it cannot hurt. Okay. What, what I saw there was a, a picture kept going in, like uh, just like see enemy, ooh, target, target. And it worked because uh, uh, your teammates were there to skirmish for you. They distracted them, which is yeah. Exactly we were we were communicating uh, mm -hmm. throughout that. Yeah, so I was I was giving out callouts and such. I can give you, I I I will give you more games. <laughs> I just <laughs> I'm gonna play one right now. <laughs> I'm gonna play one right now. <laughs> Did you have to play the Octobrush? <laughs> you shall learn. <laughs> Um, I want to play Octobrush now, damn <laughs> Alright, there's another one. <laughs> okay, well, ho hold on, hold on. We need to catch up to the ones I already downloaded. So we've got the Range Blaster here, we've got the... Um, we've Wouldn't got it the... be better to do these when the people are able to be in the call with you? So that way they're actually receiving the feedback? Uh, Although it's, I guess they could rewatch your... Yeah, I guess. I guess so. But they might not see it unless you. I mean, like, you know, it doesn't matter. Go out of your way to DM <laughs> different like, people. It's it's good if they can receive feedback on their replay. I mean, if they posted the replay in the channel, anyways, uh, it's probably best for them to actually check the feedback because that's probably what they're looking for. If they're not, then I don't know. Um, yeah, but I suck sucks. Well, I guess. But most the, people the thing in is, the, we're, the channel we're mainly doing uh, it for us for learning ourselves. <laughs> Fair enough, but m most of the, like, people normally give, uh, like, they type the feedback to the person instead of, like, doing reviews. Although, I, you could, I yeah, know. I, I know it's your VOD review, Sammy. <laughs> no, <laughs> I was, I was... <laughs> like, I, I'm not That's stupid. the point, like, so, no, I'm not preventing anyone from giving, like, written, uh, reviews, which is also great, because, like, it's, it's written, you can always look at it during the game, etc., et which is very great and that's cool. I'm just doing like basically the other style which is because no, not a lot of people are willing to do that and so I'm, I'm just like boom I'm gonna do it that way uh, if you guys wanna like visually see that thing you don't wanna have bother to bother like looking at the codes you don't wanna get into a VC and just throw random tips bam you can do that. Good point. Okay. I see. Uh, high ground, hammerhead, okay. We did, did, did this one. This one is the. Um, did, 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 did not lose in spot duels, okay. This is not the one. I, this one with the, the sniper. Okay, I think I skipped this whole these games, which I'm not showing right now. But you guys don't need to look at Discord, uh, anyways. It is fine. But Anchor folks, um, okay, particularly ugly heels game I had with my e-leader 4k I feel like I'm just being evaded or my reaction time stinks either way hitting a critical wall there Okay, let's check it Yay, um, Whoa, yeah. uh, Gabby magpie says honestly initiating a fight with suction isn't great for after specifically really? no, I mean it doesn't hurt that weapon consumes so much ink, and you use a suction you can't skate away if necessary. True. But I'm okay. I I I believe it would be about choosing then whether you, you like. Because if you throw the suction bomb, usually that would like uh, tip the fight in your favor, so you wouldn't have to uh, to brush away to escape. But that basically it's just like you need to call it. Okay, so sniper evading your shots. Um, are there people down? Nope. Uh, where's the sniper? It's up there. Okay. Well, okay, first off, I'd probably not go that close to the fight. I would just stand back. Um, how's the team comp? They have a sniper, they have a blob. But the blob is not a line of sight weapon, so it like it has range, but it depends. It's situational. Uh, what I would do is just let your team go 
fight forward and just as assist them from from the back lines. Maybe while you're not shooting at people, just paint paint um, like near your base. That way you give a retreat option to your team. Like it's it's great that the um, e leader can fire, but I guess especially here you have like two down on the enemy team. They're not really gonna push, so I would just focus on painting right now. I would not be on the tower really. Maybe I'd be in their base on the on the left side, like uh, right here. See, because if they ever like get a get a kill on you, which they just did, uh, they might have an easier time pushing because of that whole unpainting area. Um, so right now you are respawning, okay? And I guess people evading your shots. I mean. I guess you have the blob, which is not gonna be in your line of sight a lot. Uh, I guess you have the brella, which is gonna like just ha use the brella and not die. You have the dapples, which can escape, and the sniper is like, the, uh, like using the same range as you to. So it's, it's gonna be hard to hit basically. So I, I get what you mean by evading your shots. It's mainly if you cannot get as m as many kills this game, just focus on painting because the the snipers are really great weapons for painting. Even though they don't, they don't look like they're supposed to. Uh, yeah, here you're, you're maybe too close to fight. Oh no! The way you break into the tower and got crushed. Um. Okay. Here currently you have numbers disadvantage. The the Europe base is still not painted. See here, they're, they're kind of initiating a push, and here the, the amount of paint they have in your base is going to allow them to push way farther than they should, in my opinion. I mean, it depends on the, if they manage to do that. Um, okay. Yeah, here they're pushing. They keep going. They, they might even, like, get the lead if, if they push well. And that's the thing also, it's, it's like, if as a sniper, if you miss your shot or like the, the opponent evades you, your best bet is just to back off and get another try. And the thing is that it's gonna be hard to do if you do, if, if you can't really walk comfortably in your base. Because uh, let me look at the... Um, they only have one rain player, yet there is still a lot of like rain splotches everywhere on your map. So like basically they... they eat. Like the blob is throwing in rain, and you're not doing a, a good job. Like none none of the people on your team is doing a good job to like cover the rain back up. Like you only have your main path to go into into your sniper perch here, but like that path is so small, and basically if it gets just covered a bit by the enemies, right, he's blocking you off and you cannot get back. It's like there is way way too much. Of their paint in your base versus uh, your paint in theirs, uh, in my opinion. But okay. Okay. What what do we do right now with the sniper? Is just go up here, right there, because if they ever push on you, you can just back off and and go back to your base, and you have the height advantage instead of being down. Like here, if you were on that place you could hit on the tower versus um, versus being down and not being able to hit on the tower and here again for that push the fact that they have a bit more paint is probably gonna help them a bit okay good Basically, it's like even if you're playing a sniper, you shouldn't like over focus on killing people. Uh, if the if the the enemy's weapons are not weapons you can fight effectively against, just switch your roles to more of a painting support, a special support. Uh, uh, like switch your roles and let your teammates do the killing if they can do that better. If that makes sense. Honestly, snipe. Uh, e leaders. Well, 
mainly, uh, basically any charger, um, like, what they do is to, um, apply pressure not to get mm -hmm. kills. Yep. Because, uh, that forces the other team, uh, to, like, stay back because they don't want to get picked off. Because if they get picked off, they'll be down one player, and that means, uh, your team would, yep. the other team would, uh, would have the advantage. I mean, the, the sniper is really great, especially on tower control, because you, you can easily get kills on, on it without having to bother aiming and stuff. Yeah, because uh, everyone, which is great. Your, everyone and their mother wants to get on the tower. Exactly, but the problem here is that if the sniper is out half of the game, as you can see by the by the kill count uh, and the oh. death count, <laughs> that that's the thing. Like, if, if you know you're gonna get killed a lot and you won't be able to effectively pressure the tower as much, just focus on painting for a bit. That way, you can just secure a safe zone for you and just put more pressure on the tower. I'd just jump out if I was in danger. Also, could you uh, review my game? Yes, box, I'll do that. Um, do -do 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 my code. Um, uh, Discord looks right here. Okay. New game from Pitcher Share. Part Q. B6. B, C, R, B. W, 6, L, 9. Um, L, L, H, U, 4. L, H, U, 4. Boom. Picture on means meat. Let's see. <laughs> and so like those are games you just did right now, right? Uh these are games I did like a week ago. Oh, okay. Do 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 on splat zones, okay? Get okay, the rollouts. Uh, wait, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Okay, here. Boom, okay. Pushing directly, interesting. Okay, cool. Ouch. I didn't see the, the stamper. And like, it's, he painted my feet so I couldn't really get away. <laughs> yep. Uh, Octobrush doesn't really have the the same immunity as Inkbrush when it's, Yeah, whenever it uh, brushes down. Yeah. I mean, to me, I don't know. That's kind of fair, I guess. Cause the, cause I know, but it has a bigger trail. That yeah. Sense, I mean, no, because like the, the bigger trail isn't really going to help it like avoid the ink. Like, you really need to be a roller if you want to like not step into enemy ink whenever you brush down. The Octobrush is definitely gonna run into enemy ink when it brushes down. But I think that's kind of balanced by the fact that the Octobrush is not so much a uh, weapon that is gonna like poke and evade. It's more so for fighting because it's got way more range and it actually does more damage. Um, so like brushing down is really like something you're gonna do rarely just to evade in, in a pinch whenever you like really messed up badly. In my opinion. I don't know, because I don't play the, the, the brush. I play the suction bomb. <laughs> the end zap. End zap's good for suction bomb spam. But I also want to have my zip caster. And said no. Play you Luna. You play <laughs> yeah, but the, the suction bomb. Because I guess, you know, uh, my, my, my thought process is like, since I'm gonna shark in corners, I guess the best weapon to like, fight back in corners if you get pressured in there is the upper rush. Okay, see? Okay. Here, like, you kinda you really died because you tried to there. push on, on these guys, which like, you had like, two over there and one on the side. I would've probably just thrown a suction bomb there. I yeah. guess. Yeah, You've got tunnel vision on the, uh, the jump. Yeah, I, I know. And, and... That's fine. I guess. The thing is, I don't think, 
Uh, what I thought was if I threw the suction bomb, it wouldn't detonate as soon as the person would have True, but, so, but that's the thing, you're not necessarily gonna kill, but you're gonna keep them off the zone, which is already good. And especially even better is that you're not gonna die, which is even better. And okay, see here, like you could get <laughs> ambushed from behind at any time by the by the freaking curling bomb. See, <laughs> I told you. I know. I, know. <laughs> I didn't even get killed by the curling bomb. Mm. Oh, but you took the twenty ticks of damage. Oh. Here, oh no, like, I got slightly damaged by the curling bomb. <laughs> initially, I was um, playing like bomb spam on the ingress, which had the the slot bomb, because I was thinking since it's had it like you're thinking you don't have that much range, but you actually do with the splat bomb. And then I was I was thinking, okay, but I like zipcaster, so why don't I try the the octobrush a bit? And it also works kind of. And that's the thing, it. Your weapon has more range than you think it that it has. Yeah, I know. It's it's I, like I forget that. Like, how, how to explain? It? It's it's like you know how some weapons have damage fall off whenever you hit uh, at range. So like it's uh -huh. great at killing, the close range, uh -huh. and at long range you're gonna have like more trouble killing. Basically, think of the octobrush as that, but like magnified ten times, or like even the inkbrush. That's the same. It's like killing close range, easy peasy. Long range, that's your bomb that does the job, but it's yeah. so unreliable, you're not gonna get kills. Maybe sometimes, but it's unreliable. It, it's, it's like if your bomb was long range, but with lots of damage fall off. And good pressure of a zone. Wait, um, I, I have I have another uh, hey, game guys? I would like you to oh, hi, you. Uh, Either Sammy or Pitcher, if you guys want to join, if you're when you're done, uh, Seamus and not us, uh, and I are in a lobby. So if either okay. you want to join. Oh, okay. So. okay. Wait, uh, wait, 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 wait Yep, and if you have right. games, uh, you right, can send them for you your argument. Argument. Okay. I sent it. Nice, okay. Uh, Rec... Y... Uh, Y084... Uh, e... And then CW90. Okay, boom. Boom. On Inkblot again, on Splat Zones. Yeah. Okay. Check it. Are you guys still there in the chat? Gabby Magpie and, and Bo? Okay. I am um, nice. I run out of things here. That's why I was kind of like popping around. Mm. Here, what I would probably do, like, you, you, you gotta like think that. Like, since I, I basically made the suction bombs, I'm probably gonna give more tips on how to use them more and how to use them effectively. I would probably get on the tower and just spam a bit of suction bombs from there. Mainly, like, right well, on I the edge. I get on the tower and I do, like, throw bombs at people. Yep. Um, basically, I would just, like, section off. Like, if they try to jump down from their perch and, and get to the splat zone, they're gonna have a suction bomb uh, basically contesting that space. But I don't want to be playing underneath the ledge like all, like for most of the game. Like I kind of want to move around. Like that's what Octopush is supposed to do. Mm -hmm. So I'm I mean, kind of like you, rotating around the zone. You, you like want me to tell you something to... actually about this? You don't really have to rotate around the zone because you have damage fall off. If you just aim down, you basically have line of sight to every single side of the map. You really don't see what you did there. It's great. You really don't have to get down, in my opinion. 
just use your damage fall off, which is great, and use the suction bombs whenever you you don't want people to approach. Right? Well, I, I don't want to be up here uh, all the time because I would be an easy pick for like Reap or Stamper or even the Duelies if they got close enough. Like it, I'm so, like I would be kind of out in the open. Like I would just be exposed if I was up there just swinging and throwing bombs. Honestly, I and that's like... why I was like rotating rotating around the zone and not saying like I yeah. I didn't stay in one place too long except for like going up on the tower to see like what was going on. Honestly, uh, I I don't really know because if you're up on the tower, you don't need to be exposed. You can just shark in there so people don't really see you. And I know, but if someone sees me. Well, up yeah, there, but, and they but see then, me go on my ink. Uh, the, they'll know I'm up there, and they'll try to. I know, like, but, like, but like you, you mentioned the dapple duelies. The dapple duelies can't really hit you from up there. Um, I know, but if they, so you're mostly safe. And if somebody the... tries to push you, you can just like fall back and throw a suction bomb, basically, and be like, "You're not gonna get there. I'm, I'm, I'm falling off. You got, you got me. I need to back off. But you're not gonna get there either. And then I'm gonna come back and start applying pressure again." The reason why I mentioned like the duelies is because they do a lot more DPS than I do. So, mm -hmm. um, if we get, so if I'm in a one v one with one of the duelies, um, it'll probably result in them killing me first because yeah. uh, they they're able to fire shots faster than how much damage I can do uh, per swing, and that's mm -hmm. why I was kind of worried. That's why I didn't see it on up top there. Would, I mean, it might it's... just be personal preference to you, but like that—that's just how I play. Like I just mm -hmm. rotate around, and I, um, uh, I when I picked off the the reef, uh, going after Vic, uh, he made a call out that he was getting like uh harassed by them, so I came there to like yeah. uh help finish him off. Yeah. Um, but, um... the same thing with uh Slippy, I think. Uh. I think Slippy had the bow, I think. Yep. Um, uh, they also okay. made a call out of, uh, about being harassed by the one of the duelies, so I want to pick him off. That's why I don't want to stay up there, because if I just stay up there, I won't be able to um, help them. If And if I just stayed up there for the entire match, we probably would have, like, lost. Yeah. Or it, it, either Definitely that, or not... it would have been a very close game, because I, yeah. I would just... I, I wouldn't be doing anything because I would just be painting over my own ink. Like, I wouldn't be, like, I, I want to be proactive. Like, um, as an Octobrush, yeah. you either want to be painting, I mean, poking bombs, or, uh, yeah, a so sharking. I, I get about, like, helping your teammates. That's, ver that's very good. Like, that's something that obviously we can't see in the replay, so it's good that you assist them. Uh, the thing is, like, you mentioned the, um, the Dapple Julies coming and, and, like, doing the more DPS. But the thing with the Dapple Julies is that if you're on the tower, Basically, if you're fighting around the tower, you're gonna have a hard time seeing them if they're on the other side, right? They can rotate in both directions. You might, like, have them fl flank you on the back without you knowing. Whereas if you're on the tower, you can predict them going going up and just be more safe. Another well, I thing, could hear I, them. Yeah. I could hear them swimming. Uh, another thing I, I could suggest uh, about assisting your teammates, obviously it's always better to get in there, but, like, you can throw a suction bomb to assist your teammates, right? Then you can maybe also go and assist them with the with the brush, but also throwing a suction bomb to enter the fight. It's like if your teammates are struggling, a suction bomb is already doing a good job at like assisting them and forcing the opponent to move in a very predictable way. Um, and also about like painting your own feet. You gotta think that you're playing splat zone, so obviously the enemies are gonna try to push and paint the splat zone. So you're always gonna be there to defend, basically, and say no. That's that's my zone. So it's I, I, you're always gonna have something to paint nearby the tower. But yeah, I, I get what you mean. I'm, I just give you another perspective of how I would I, play. I'm very campy with the Octobrush. <laughs> I get it, but like, uh, like a few times throughout the match, uh, I threw some suction bombs down to uh, enemies. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, that were um, fighting one of my teammates, and they were able to take it out before the bomb blew up. So I just, I, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get off because I'm not doing anything. Just sitting up here, sparking, and just throwing bombs. Like I was, like I said, I was throwing bombs at their snipe and like on their side of the map. Yeah. Uh, just so like I could keep distance and like try to 
Pushing you're saying that the suction bomb didn't get the kill because your your teammates got it first. But yeah. here's the here's the deal. Maybe they got it because they were able to kill them better because the suction bomb forced them to move. That's the point. They they don't want to get killed by the suction bomb because the suction bomb is a guaranteed kill. Whereas maybe if you escape the suction bomb, right, then you don't get killed like uh, in a predictable fashion. But maybe you can still escape the enemy. But maybe you don't. So that that's the thing. Uh, uh, but my teammate made a call out about like um them being low and they went after them to finish them off and that's when i threw the bomb and it blew up like way after like uh the the fight was over with sometimes that, obviously that's why it doesn't I, work I brought out. it up yeah i know but at least i was able to get a bit more paint i guess we've got v with uh tower control mahi mahi uh, with a dynamo do you need any specific tips? Right, I'm gonna check. Oh, yeah. And also, like. Okay. What is a team code? Okay. We got some buckets, which is good for tower control. Uh, they've got the, the blob, which is not the best bucket. They've also got two end ups, which give. Fast respawn and beacons, which are really like redundant on this on this map because it's small. So oh, I don't know. There's two zaps on the other team. Yeah, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be that useful. Rain might be useful, maybe, because like you you'll need to get off tower and the rain is gonna like like yeah the rain is gonna pressure you to get off tower and maybe the water is gonna like bamboozle you and you're gonna die. They could do the suction bomb spam since three of their weapons yeah. have suction bomb. Mm. Uh, true, yeah, true. Uh, but then you've got on your side you've got uh, the inkjet, which is pretty good at pressuring the tower. You've got the bubbler, which is obviously good. The booyah bomb, which is great. What is the special of the dino? Oh yeah, it's the um, Bridge. juice. What is that guy doing? <laughs> okay, that was interestingly enough. That was an, an effective way to avoid the shots. Okay, wipe out. Good. At the checkpoint. Boom. Okay, here I would have probably not done a jumping shot. Yeah, jumping shots here are not as practical. I would probably like if like the main suggestion is just like really be attentive to whenever you want to use a um, flick shot or a normal shot. Like here, you'd need a normal shot to cover the, the paint. And also, again, okay, I, I'm always gonna give this tip that now that's a tradition. I think it, it's. Do not jump, you don't need to jump. If you don't want to make flick shot, okay, that was weird. But if you don't want to make flick shots, you don't need to jump. Jumping is only for activating the flick shot. Jumping does not give you more range on the normal shot. I used to do that. Now I know it's useless. Um, so what is happening here? We've got his advantage. Uh, nobody got the tower over 51. So the map is still uh, high up. Yeah, probably watch your ink tank also. Let me take a look at the... Um, yeah. Maybe run some ink saver main if you find yourself running out often. It's um, it's bomb defense. Still, why would they run around Dynamo? That's something for like backliners, I guess. Or... Uh, maybe they don't care about the the. Maybe they just want to look good. <laughs> I 
guess. That was smart to charge up the, the swing behind the tower, though. Because that gives you a bit of uh, protection. True. Wipeout! Nice. That's Try gonna to win me the game right there. Honestly, I wouldn't use horizontal f uh, flicks unless um, like, your opponent is cornered, I guess, or like to climb up walls, because the vertical flick is a lot more useful. Like, it paints better, and uh, it has a wider kill radius, I guess. But, you know. I've only played Dynamo so many times that, like, I don't know. I mean the your the horizontal flick. I mean, hold on. We did nor. It's it's hard to differentiate the two, but ba basically, like doing a normal, a uh, flick is vertical. Just like a normal one, it's like useful whenever you just wanna basically scare off enemies. It's obviously like it. It's harder to get like uh, kills in one shot with that. I mean, unless obviously they're real close, right? But like, you can still have like in in two shots kill people. So like, if they're on the tower, you're not necessarily gonna kill them instantly with the um, with the normal shot. But the thing you're gonna do is like do half damage to them, and then like you don't really have to aim specifically. You don't have to choose on one side of the tower. You can just like fire twice to everyone on the tower, and then probably kill the person on it so like it, it's forcing it's kind of like rain firing from down from above it's forcing them to to back off or just die it's it's you apply pressure like smaller pressure that's not gonna kill instantly but over a longer period of time which is i, th I think it's beneficial uh gabby magpie says a dynamo wants to jump horizontal flex for the same reason a blaster wants to jump um yeah just to get over cover um if you if you basically if you don't have line of sight you jump and you get line of sight and that's how you do it but then you, otherwise you don't need that unless like you're hitting above cover as i said in my explosher tips in last vod review and i'm also gonna uh, publish the separate video of that but yeah you don't you don't need to jump jumping is unnecessary you stack in place until the animation finishes, so you might as well use the extra momentum. True, that is yeah, that you is can something. Also, still move around. Um, but I mean, the dynamo the... is is like you're supposed to stay more in in more so backline positions, so, so you don't really need to have momentum. Like uh, obviously, in close range fights, yes, you do need to have momentum. Especially not so much for like getting close to opponents because you can just use your your horizontal flick uh, to get more range. But more so whenever you you have someone pushing up on you, you want to like swim back, jump, uh, or like swim back, use a normal flick to like cover a wide area and just like scare off enemies and jump at the same time. That way you keep your backwards momentum. But otherwise, it's kind of like. Uh, not really useful because what you want to do is like be on the edge of ledges and just fire with your flick or with your with your big shot the normal normal uh flick and you don't need to jump you don't need to have momentum if you're going to stand on the edge of a ledge because you don't want to get down from there um horizontal flick is better for hitting under ledges or other situations where you don't know where the enemy's exact position is true or as i as i suggest is maybe probably for hitting above the tower wait i was good. mixing up vertical and horizontal flicks my yeah bad. that's why i said it's kind of confusing because I, I don't know i'm either. sorry <laughs> i'm uh, sorry that, that's why i just say normal flick because it's easier oh god uh, you don't know, but w and, and so you're saying it's better when you don't know the exact enemy's position. I would also, cause sometimes I was on the tower and I was just finding the like the dynamo was just firing everywhere with the normal flick, and I was just uh, I couldn't do anything. It was it was very annoying. You had to get rid of the of the dynamo if you wanted to stay on the tower, basically. So hor like normal shots are not to be overlooked. If you use a vertical flick and miss, you are dead. True. Also, a vertical flick gives the enemy a whole 20 extra frames to react and move out of the way. Yes. I mean, not that it's really gonna happen on tower control. 
but even then you should probably use a normal flick instead of a vert uh, over vertical one uh, just because it's better at covering the whole tower anyways next game uh, we've got a machine from a Japanese player uh, let's see how that goes and I'm gonna look at discord in the meantime um, So they've got Blob, Squipper, Flatbuster, they're playing on Taro Control. Mm, so here I would say that the enemy team has more of an advantage because they've got a sort of sniper which is good at picking off people on the tower. Ooh darn. Like Japanese games always, like darn, he's just swimming in the bomb. I don't know how Japanese players do it. They're just they're just maybe more aggro. Like, either one team is getting wiped out or the other one is getting wiped out. It's never, like, balanced or a stalemate. I think the other team uh, can pull through if they're uh, aggressive enough. Yeah. Because I've I don't know. had, uh, like, matches where I would be the back line and the other team would not have a lot of range and I would think, oh, this is easy, they don't have that much range, yet. but they end up being like really, really aggro and we end up losing. I don't know that might just be me. Is doing. That target burn will look totally like just fire their shots on top of the tower from down below, but they didn't do that. They kind of struggled to do anything. I don't know how that works. But like basically the, the enemy's team comp, the, the, the strat would be to just have the Clash Blaster be annoying on the tower just prevent anyone from staying on there for too long, have the carbon roller do basically the same thing, shark, uh, fire on the tower and maybe like get some picks, and then you want the, um, the squiffer to g get anyone from slightly more range that would stay on the tower. They've got like really great weapon at annoying people on the tower and also they got bubbler. But currently I don't know what they're doing but they're, I don't know, I mean it's working. I guess it's working. And I guess I didn't really give tips for the for the person who sent the VOD more than I, I sent tips to the enemy team. Um, I don't know, I mean that, that just the team comp was kind of hard to play, I guess. Uh, also I don't play machine, also I don't play with Japanese players so I don't really know how the workflow of the ma the games work. I'm sorry. Uh, this one is the same person. Okay, let's look at the. No, wait. Is it the same person? No, it's not. It's from Buns, but it's on the same. Ooh, interesting. So they were playing at the same time then. Buns with the machine. Okay, they got some range. They got the Clash Blaster, which is good. Ooh, they got two Clash Blasters, also Crab Tank, also Bull Point. Oh my god, there's three Clash Blasters in that game. Good, all, all the more fun. Cringe. Don't diss on the Clash Blaster, it's good. Cringe. That guy is getting ambushed, which is not good. Um, what's the match looking? I mean, you have a Clash Blaster behind you, so that's basically gonna kill your push because you're all gonna get uh, picked one by one. Uh, where's the person that I need to focus on? It is on the machine. Okay. The yeah, the machine. Because I need to figure out basically which button it is. Um, Gabby Mackay says, I love when the enemy has a Clash Blaster because that's a false liner I can beat every time. Same. I mean, yeah, because most people don't really play the Clash Blaster to its, to its strength. Yeah, because it's... 
bad weapon. <laughs> no, it's not. It's great at hitting behind corners. And see, it's the same thing as the dynamo. If, if you use the dynamo roller for its like normal shots, and you just apply more pressure over more time, you're not going to get killed easily with this. But that's not the point. The point is to... It's basically as if you had burst bombed all the time on his own, right? But, yeah, but then but also you need to be closer than you would be able to throw a burst bomb. So you need to use corners more effectively. But as long as you use the corner, you've got a, an even better option than splat bombs to annoy people and get them off a certain location. The thing is about Clash Blaster is it's basically um, a splatter shot combined with uh, just a regular blaster. So it's just like, ah, ha, 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 I don't have to aim with this. Ha, ha, AoE damage. Woo! But okay, so that. Kinda that's annoying. one side of it. See, that's the thing. Like, that's one side of it. That's the side that new players are using. But you gotta think outside the box. You, you have multiple ways of describing a weapon. Yes, it is a blaster and also a splatter shot at the same time. But also, you can think of it as spam spammable burst bombs as long as you stay safe, right? And then it's m much more of an interesting weapon to play. You're you just gotta think change your mind. Thinking outside the box. If I was thinking in, if I wasn't thinking outside the box, do you think I would be using Octobrush? I would Why probably not? be using <laughs> Machine because it's popular. No, okay, okay. Uh -huh, there's a difference no, between no picking... skill needed. Th there's, a, there's a difference between thinking outside the box and just using the meta thing because you you want to win easily. Yeah, I, I want, I want, the, the reason I picked the Oculus was because I, I thought it was a cool weapon, also. Yeah. Uh, that, that was a stupid move for machine. Anyways, it, it was a cool weapon, and I wanted to learn it, and, um, like, shooters in one and two, and basically all three games were the meta, like, no, I'm gonna stick the Oculus Rush, like, despite its, like, weaknesses, um, I, I just stuck with it, and I got better with it. Mm -hmm. I mean, as long as it's advantages and weaknesses fit what you're looking for, then that's that's probably the weapon you should play. Ouch. I guess the machine is good at um, controlling areas, because it has a large radius of, of whenever you hit people. You have also the fizzy bombs to control areas, and what's the special? It's the booyah bomb, right? So it's it's mainly for control, and I don't think the the machine player here is controlling the area too much. No, it's just they keep, they're feeding. Yeah, they like keep, they pushing keep on the rushing tower. back in, and especially they're, they're panicking. No, no, what no, I've wait, seen, they they have the lead. Never mind. I don't know why they're. What, what I've seen here is like whenever um they have they have players down there in in the corner instead of like staying up and just. Having the full off shots do full damage because that's a good advantage of the machine. What they're doing is they're going down with the players and just getting in the pit and struggling to aim. Yeah. Um, which I would just recommend: keep your distance, use the fizzy bombs to poke, use the stay alive long enough to have booyah bombs because that's very useful at getting people off the tower, which is what you want to do. Oh, they got amiibo gear. Boys lover. Looking stylish. Boys lover. Wait, what? Wait, 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 holy shit, they have amiibo gear. That's what I said, yeah. It's not it's out good. yet. They they hacked it into the game. What the fuck? They get amiibo NFC cards, I guess. Do you do that? Wait, okay. wait, wait, wait. So can, here, can you get it here we go. We've got Malcomart on on Clumblitz Anarchy Battle, okay, but we've got the blob. We've got the blob. So I'm, I'm I'm gonna give tips for the blob because I'm a blob. I thought, a blob main I right thought now. this was one of Soli Art's battles, but because uh, he means blob, I think. But Gary in the match. Gary is gonna be annoying. Gary is always annoying. We hate Gary. So they've got they've got range with the jet culture. You guys got the sniper that you get also. You guys are playing on Clumblitz. Okay. Let's see how you play with the blob. Uh, personally, I would have already thrown a uh, whatever that freaking sub is called. 
It's the best sub in the game, by the way, but I forgot its name. <laughs> <laughs> the um, sprinkler, sprinkler. Yeah, you like why? Why do you super jump? Your backline weapon. Stop super jumping. Just, just use your sprinkler. Throw a freaking sprinkler now. Do it. What are you doing? I would, I would throw sprinkler like um when I respawn. Yeah, I think you do that. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, the struggle. Bro. Bro. <laughs> Just, just. At least they got the pick. I think they were just panicking because they, they were jumping. Yeah, yeah. If they're and staying way panic, too close I to the jump. fight, like this is way too close to the fight. You, you have. If you want to get back here, you, you don't have an escape route over there, right? Here you're kind of struggling because of the enemy ink. Like you're, you're cornered there. You really need to paint your back. That's like you're the best painting weapon here, and you have a sub, a sub for painting, and you're not using it. Also, they have other cover. Because I I, I I get I, I get the, um, the the like it's good to push very hard uh, sometimes because it can win you games P like pushing is definitely good but I wouldn't underestimate having good pain control it's always advantageous like if you have nothing better to do uh, I would paint. And, like, yeah. Well, not in this case, because you have sprinkler. Like, you gotta think, you're playing it. Splatoon. Half of the game is just painting the ground. Like, that that's probably a clue that it's important to winning games. Oh, I thought, I thought the active rush was gonna fall off, and <laughs> that would've been kinda funny. What are you doing? What are you uh, doing? Would, here, what are you doing? Back up! Back up! No! Hero would have probably just... I would have... Jolly B! Uh, I, I, I would have probably just, um... Thrown the... Okay, that was lucky. They're, they're really pushing hard and it's kind of working out, but... Uh, Bro, there was someone behind them. There was someone behind them picking up clams. I didn't see that. So what I would have done, uh, by the way, uh, Bro, they're, they're waiting for the best. <laughs> I don't get anything in this game. What what level that, is this? That person was so dumb. <laughs> the person who had who was on the the blue team. Who was is, just is this like for... C rank or I don't know? I don't know. I don't Cause, know. Because like you know the thing is like I started at B rank because I got Splatoon 2 save data and and the thing is like whenever. Like basically all the pro players were already at B rank because we were all struggling to get out of it and get into higher ranks. So we we're playing against like higher level players. So I never really saw what low level gameplay looks like because I was always struggling with like the high level players. Bro, so, like, I've seen S rank players play like C rank players. Yeah. What was the brush trying to do? They the, can fund that engagement if they The only fun. thing I can assume from seeing gameplay that looks like this is, is just... It's a different rank than mine, probably. It's a lot, it's a lot harder to determine uh, what rank people are in. Just yeah. by looking at... Um, but like it, you, you'd be surprised. Like, I think Jem did a live stream where he, uh, where Kick sent him like a video of uh, games of for other people, and he had to guess uh, what rank they're in, and he got most of them wrong. Got it. I mean, true. Why did like... you let? Why did you let? Why did you let your leader die? Your leader? Is there a leader in the game? Yeah, there was. There's a leader on the Blobs team. Also, that was a really bad push from uh, Rush. True. That that suicide that, that suicide push wasn't gonna do anything. What the heck? And, and, and yeah, about what you said about like guessing ranks. I guess it's true, cause like. Um, I was in S rank, right? And most of the games went mostly the same way, um, and I won like basically half of them. Uh, but then I, I was paired against like Japanese players, and they just like kept pushed really hard on the Rainmaker, and that got them the win. Just like being so aggressive, so th I definitely see how like multiple types of strats can can coexist in in the same rank and win sometimes. Um. So Gabby Magpie says Sprinkler is the worst sub, but also the one, the one sub you should never not be using. True, that's not 
They're very constructive. See, ranked players need VOD reviews too. I didn't say they didn't need VOD reviews. And yeah, it's not like I'm not giving tips. I'm, I'm just- The I'm only just... thing we agree on. <laughs> uh, I'm just like bamboozled by the by by how different the gameplay looks. So I'm I'm just I'm just and it wasn't even like oh they're they're only C rank. I'm just like are are they C rank? I I really truly don't know. I am I am confused. I don't know what I don't know why the gameplay looks so utterly different from what I'm used to. Because you know I'm not just, a pro player. It's just like that in two. Yeah, I I I can't even remember how I was playing in two honestly. It was so long ago. I have like I don't know five hundred hours. I totally forgot. Um, so I'm j I'm just bamboozled. I'm honestly surprised at how this game went. Like honestly, I, I would I would even want to like see how the sniper played and see if they actually because I didn't see much paint in the in the uh, in in the bases. So like, what was the sniper doing? Like if if the blob is not gonna paint and the sniper is not gonna paint either, how how's the game like? There's no anchor. Uh, anyways, we, here we got the splatter shot junior on the tower control on museum dolphin Zeno. We got a uh, range blaster on the enemy team, a bucket, and you guys got the explosion. Let's play from sunglasses. Do they have any specific requests? Oh, Mario. There's actually a little shortcut you can do on the left side. No, not the left. The right side. Like you can squid roll um, to skip the the corner to get to the right side of the map. You successfully more saved it five million seconds. Good job. Oh my god. <laughs> that's that's small optimizations for like uh, brush players that are like really like rushing to feed <laughs> into the enemy team <laughs> um so what is well, I, I i need to find the message to see I feel like Explosher should be on tower. Mm, um. Yeah, that would probably be an interesting plan. Or they could also, like, if, if there are too many enemies, they could also stand back, uh, get a perch, and, and just fire at the tower. That works. The thing is, like, no... <laughs> that was such an awful bomb <laughs> Anyways, um, none of them besides Explosher really have range. Um, like... Solution to genius, uh, yeah, true. Uh, hard. I mean, which is all the more <laughs> reason for the explosion to stand back. Team. If it's the only one that has range, it should probably stand back and and use its range basically to uh, secure more playing area for the for the, for their teammates. Right? They they can if they're on the tower, they're gonna have less of a vantage point to. I know, but they would have. Bubbler to protect them most of the time. Cause, cause like if, and if, if they think it's not safe, they could just jump off. Because, like, think about it. it. Like, you have two Splash Shot Juniors which have the big bubbler. You want them to be on the tower. Like, it's preferable to have them instead of the of the Explosher. And if they ever get into trouble, the Explosher can be there to assist them with paint, with, with like good paint on their feet. And to generally see where the enemies at, are at and use its sub. Which I don't see them using that their sub too much either, but like scan the enemies and give info to the team. Yeah, but the reason the the thing is this is probably solo queue, and second of all, if um if uh jun one of the juniors or the swoosh would, were to get on tower, they would easily like get picked off by uh someone on the other team because all of the weapons oh. on the other team outrange junior and swoosh. Wait, and yeah, but they wouldn't be able to do anything. Oh, I, I, I get what you mean, but personally, See, I, d I don't think. Well, yeah, they're gonna die if they stay on the tower. But here's the thing: you see the 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 advantage they got here on the push. They got 21 versus 77. They don't really need to push that that much further. 
Like, uh, Jem made the video about tower control, where basically he says you can just get up the tower for 5 seconds and it's fine. So, I, I mean, and I know also what you're saying about solo queue, where, yeah, people are not gonna apply the best strats. But, like, I'm speaking ideally, just like the, the general strat, if I have to, if things would go in the best way possible, I think the juniors would rather be on the tower. Uh, use the bubblers, get off when whenever they get pressured, and they would be able to get off better if the explosher gives them retreat options by firing. Well, that that's I don't just know what, what is explosher is doing. They should be pressuring the tower. Yeah, well, I, mean, I mean, let they, me they let me are, look at them. I'd probably get up there actually on the on the platform. Dude, they're on the wall. Because because if you get, get on the wall, you have a better a better shooting angle instead of like firing at the same level and not really seeing where you're firing, and also you're harder to hit. Yeah, but there's nothing. They would just be out in the open also. Yeah, they they lost the lead. Yep. And also the there. Why backliners go on towers because they can use like the little pole um, for like uh, for protection, but also so they have more mobility because most backline weapons like Hydra, E Leader, they can't really move that much on their own. Uh, so like they can be on the tower and still be able to like move and like get better. They'll be able to move quicker if they just, uh, otherwise if they just stood in one place. Y you mean the explosher? Like any backliners in general, like, they would be better on tower. Because they would have more mobility than if they weren't on tower. <laughs> I, I, I guess. I mean, if, if you do that, if you have the your backliner on the tower, then you need your, uh, basically the, the whole team to switch, to, to do a switcheroo and have uh, your Slayer weapons basically act as the pain support to give you retreat options. That oh, way you get more range all, on the tower and you're able to get all, off. All those weapons, well, all of the weapons in general can pain. And if the backliner is on the tower, uh, the other three could just protect the tower. It would be just like, I don't yeah. know. True, true. Makes sense to me. Um, okay. I could give you another one of my guns if you want. Yep, another one from the same person. Let me check if they have asked his feedback. Uh, so they say, hey, I would really appreciate if I could get any feedback on this. I struggle so much with tower control to the point where almost every time I attempt a series, it three losses, zero wins, which isn't the case for any other game mode. I've really been trying to look up advice and trying my best to follow it, but I still almost always lose in tower control. This I is think... S rank and I'm playing junior. Okay. I think, uh, like what? from what I saw last game, is they're taking fights that they shouldn't. Also, yeah, thank you, Magpie. Uh, that That's the point I was trying to make. Anyways, I, I think the reason why they're struggling a lot is that, um, at least for me, I'm not really paired up with like a backliner that will support and like, most of the times the other team is, has um, a, like, a long-range weapon. Like, it's not really a backliner most of the times, but it outranges most of the weapons on my team. Or, like, um, it's hard to approach the tower, because you don't have a good opening, I guess. Okay. That's pretty not a good start. A yep, that, that's not a, such a good start, because they got, um, they basically invaded the base, got some pain in there. They got the quick respawn going, the juice. What I would probably do is like set up shop on top of the walls there. It's, it's very I good. I mean, yeah, but here like we're in defense mode, right? Here like you're fighting on, on ground level. It's not necessarily that that good. I would just get on top of the wall because then you're, you're, it's easier to 
like fight with them without being contested as much and and just like painting at their feet preventing from staying on the tower and and getting into their ink and healing up and recharging their ink and stuff uh, just do, do not do not sleep on the walls up there they're great especially when you're trying to make a push if you manage to get on the walls and survive long enough to actually annoy the enemies a bit then you can like get some extra mileage of, out of your push so this isn't like directed at mainly the person who sent this but like everyone was at the tower and that's why they got wiped out they were all in the same area and like I think the roller got all of them because like it was just easy for them to be like one, two, three, four, and boom, they're all out. Uh, yeah. Um, what, what? That, that was I, not a smart play from their team entirely. So. Yeah, you know, I I think one. See, yeah, like, the same thing wipe out, That's a great time team. to push. Yeah, the, the same thing happened with the other team. Like they all huddled around tower. What I would suggest is like, because whenever I watch pros, I'm like surprised by how, yeah, okay, here the roller near the tower, you just need to get off, do, do not, I mean, you've, you've got the big goblin, so that's cool. Like, only one person should be riding tower, maybe two at the max. Yeah, the, the thing is, whenever I watch pro players play, I'm, I'm surprised by how long the games can be, like how... If they just tiptoe, they just, like pain, get advantage, get some picks there, they're like, okay, we don't have enough of an, of an advantage, I'm just gonna like sit back again, just paint some more, even more, right? And they really push only when they're guaranteed that they're gonna have the ability to get some mileage out of that, uh, which is like extremely surprising to me and interesting. And basically it's, it's that you don't wanna push unless you, if you find yourself struggling to get effective pushes and like sometimes it goes the other way around and you die, just focus on getting safe pushes, just killing the enemies, being like really safe, and and yeah. If you see people getting close to the tower, just get off of it, try to kill them, just let them be on the tower actually. If they want to come on the tower, just let them be, and they're going to be an easy target. You take them down, bam, numbers advantage, you get back on the tower, you push again. Another thing is, is that, um, I said this before, but you don't... Your team shouldn't be huddled, like, in a small area most of the time, because, again, you can get wiped out really easily. Like, it would be better for you to take different positions where you can still be helpful, uh, but, you yeah. like, And especially here, because, like, where everyone was on the tower for both, uh, yeah, for both teams was not a smart play. And, and especially here, right, because, like, there are two people on the tower, which is not good. And since you're making uh, a good push right now, you should probably secure that push by just getting on top of the walls, uh, as I suggested earlier. Because then you're not all on the tower, there's someone painting back at the tower to help your teammates. You can also paint like uh, forward uh, in front of the tower to just like basically prevent uh, enemy players from getting close to the tower in, in a way that, that is comfortable for them. They, they're going to have to paint over your, your paint, they can't really fire at you so you're going to keep spamming. They're gonna have a hard time getting in and, and just stopping the tower in general. <laughs> well, again, they held all the tower. So yeah, as they were saying, like they they keep losing most tower control games, uh, but this one they won, and I think that's mainly attributed to just like the enemy team doing the same the same thing of yeah, they just were making the same the mistake. Hold on, let me get the the code. Yep. Okay, so let me, let me catch up to the chats, actually. Hello from the Electric Sly. Hello, Nintendo fan. What is up? Welcome back. How is the going, Locus? It's going good. We're doing some VOD reviews uh, from of VODs from people from the Squid School server, which is cool and lit and fire. Uh, Gabby Magpie says the backliner uses the tower as cover slash movement, while the Slayer is had to prevent the enemy from taking space. True. Yeah, that, that's basically what I said. I mean, and that... That that works really well when whenever you're making a push, basically. Mm. But uh, yeah, yeah, I, I I agree. The thing is, like, since they were struggling last game, um, I was more so thinking uh, on that perspective, right? If you're not already on the tower and you don't have like good paint on the map, what I would do 
is just like do the other team compositions where the Slayer are more closer to the tower and the backline is really on the backline trying to actually secure the tower enough to be able to move on it, right? There's no point for the backliner to get on the tower if it's just gonna get killed instantly because they, they keep dying, right? Uh, Alright, I sent the code. Yep, Gabby Magpie says, when I play Splash slash Splatter Shot, the, I'm only on the tower when using special or if everyone else is dead and I can get one or two extra points on the objective. Smart. Gabby Magpie says, this junior player really wants to get on the tower and use Bubbler, but Bubbler is actually much stronger when you place it somewhere else. True. I yeah, because they can block out uh, the team from using a certain route and like uh, make their options much more limited. I get that. I, I, I would even think like, because the bubbler lasts much, much less when you put it on the tower. So it's great for like making, like getting some extra points out of a push if you, if you need to like even out the scores or like get the lead. But my, my thought is like, if you get like ahead of the tower, and just like fight, fight in front of it to prevent enemies from getting to it and, and like uh, killing the person in it. Then you can just pop a bubbler in front of the tower and it's gonna last much longer and be more annoying, I, I guess. And by the time the tower arrives there, it, you're still gonna have some charge. And provides all, like if the tower passes it, you have like ways to back off safely. You have more time that allows for super jumps for your teammates to get back in. I guess, I guess it's better. Um, -doo 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 -doo. so you sent a code, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me check that. Boom, new code from Pitcher. Lots of lots of Pitcher games. We've got R one Y R. K T four Y. Uh, V five O X. And also, Nintendo fan, uh, thank you for the raid. I forgot to mention that. I mean, it was a raid of one, but thank you. That's cool. Always nice. Um, and then LF9Y. Okay. Picture with the Hydra. Uh, boom, a Nintendo fan, you're welcome. It was a small stream today, next time I'll bring more. Cool. Thank you, thank you. Why are you streaming? I, 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 I remember that you said that you wanted to get back into streaming or like do more streaming. Um, back when we chatted on Discord. What kind of stuff are you streaming? Okay, so we've got two glue guys. Mm -hmm. It's on splat zones. Glue guys are, are going to be pretty good at setting up shop um, and using the booyah bombs to, to get get people off. Basically, get in places where you don't want them to be. Stay there and get you off of there. Um, the air spray is going to be good at painting, and the bam the bamboo is actually very good at painting. What I would probably do is, like, instead of getting on, on the right side, on the grates, I would probably set up shop on the left side. Because you've got a better yeah, angle. But, but yeah, I would... If you, I, if you... I'm more covered uh, by right peeking. Mm, but but right that's peak. the thing also, like, if you're here, you can't really, you can't really hit people that are close to that wall, right? Whereas if well, you're I here... Well, I do move to the left sometimes, but... Um, yeah. I, I tend to just go to the right because um, I'm more prote protected there. I, I mean, personally, I mean, I don't really play the Hydra that much. Mm -hmm. I played it a bit. Uh, I would mostly move there whenever I... Because you gotta think about the, the range the Hydra has. It's like, it's got a big circle around it. So if you're here on the edge, you have a big circle that covers basically this whole open space and you have like open sight lines on everybody and like sure you have cover but like as a hydra you're not s like as long as you've got charge as long as you have good timing and you see when enemies are coming and you can predict them jumping down as long as you've got charge you're not concerned about cover 
Cause, like, the simple fact that you're on a ledge at all gives you more cover than them being in the open uh, here. So as long as you've got good timing, th this would be a more advantageous spot in my opinion. Because like, you can basically shut down anyone trying to push from, from that car, from that, uh, whatever that thing is called. Uh, and here would be like only whenever like your team has got good control, which for now it has. And then you've got the same, you've got the same kind of like radius around the, the front of that car to basically secure even farther. So that's, that's my two cents on it. I, I disagree with not going behind cover because if I just charged out an open, I would be an easy target. That's why, like, I'm sure if you watch uh, pro players play Splatlings, it, it, like, watch Devi, I'm sure she does right peeking as well. Like, it's just something Splatlings do. Yeah. And to an extent, uh, also Chargers do because, again, it not only does it give them protection but it hides their little laser yeah i mean i don't i don't disagree at all i'm, I'm just uh, yeah i mean i i don't play hydra enough to to know how much the cover is essential or like how much you want to play with it, it I'm, ju I'm just saying from my non-hydra main ex like experience or like thoughts it's just like You've got the, the the better firepower, and and the ledge is already good enough cover that you can back off if you need to. But again, you're the better Hydra player probably, so you you know what you did there. You won. You got the knockout. That's good. I'm. I don't have anything to say. I guess it depends also on the enemy weapons if they have a good way of fighting at you. Like if you've got buckets, yeah. you definitely don't want to be on the on the left side of the ledge, because um, yeah, then the bucket is totally gonna destroy you. Here we've got this the um, the um, arrow spray, which like if it goes for if it tries to hit above the ledge, you can just like back off a bit. It doesn't have range anymore. If it wants to catch you up, it has to go all the way around, right on on the little ramp. And then you can just like go basically on the right side and just ignore them and bam you have another spot uh same thing for the bamboozler it has range um but first off if it's like down from the ledge it's not going to be able to hit you because it doesn't have like full of damage and if it's on the other side on, on the car right you've got more range than them so as long as you've got good timing you can get rid of them the only real problem issues would be the glugas if they hit you with booyah bomb or if they hit you with, um, if, if they basically be, be annoying with the walls near the base, right? But again, as long as you've got good timing, you can prevent them from even coming close to you to set up shop with the splash wall. Um, Ma Magpie, I'm not, I'm not giving these replays to Chris just to brag. Like, I, like, I feel like I make a lot of mistakes during my matches and I want to, like, um, get better and get advice. Magpie, like you, you're saying, you're saying that, I mean, cause like, yeah, whenever I, I was mentioning about like C ranks, I was not like, like trying to be mean on anyone. Like, C yes, they do need VOD reviews, and we're gonna do that. But same thing for for S ranks and higher, they do also need VOD reviews, and yeah, I mean, if you see, if you see pro play, like even pro players need to improve, right? And if you look at their games, they're gonna stomp on each other. Mutually, right? So, but they still need to improve. Everybody can improve. And I definitely see, like, I have some tips to give here for the Hydra to optimize their gameplay. It's not about, like, like changing their whole way of playing because they're doing, like, something extremely wrong or, like, they really need big improvements. It's just, like, small optimizations or, like, maybe just different strategies that, that would maybe, like, dif different stuff, creative stuff that you could try. Yeah. The, the reason why I sent the Hydra gameplays, uh, and like ones where I've mostly won was, first of all, that, that those are the only replays I really have saved. Um, I kind of regret not saving some of the ones where I did, where I lost, because, um, I would get a lot of kills, but I would still lose, and I didn't figure that out why. And I, I again, I regret that, but, um, uh, the problem I have with Hydra is I don't know when to move up, and 
that that's a problem for me because when I think backline, I should stay in the back. Oh, hold on, hold on. I, I'm sorry, I need to interrupt you, but I, I just saw the message from Nintendo fan. I saw Spark the Electric Jester. So variety stuff. Oh, Chris, no game programming yet, but so far I have done Bayonetta 2, Mario and Rabbit Sparks of Hope, and now some Spark the Electric Jester. Which one? Three? Three is fire. I I, I bought it, but uh, any Spark game is is amazing. Anyways, yeah, you can. Continue, yeah, one. I would definitely check that out, actually, because um, I have not played one, and I'm interested in seeing how it how it is. Um, so I, I'll definitely check out your channel. And <laughs> anyways, yeah, you can continue, uh, Petra. I again, the reason why I sent the Hydra replays where I win is uh, again, I those are the only ones I have, and I don't know when to move up. That's when I what I want critique on mostly but I don't mind getting critique on anything else because like for some of them I was carried by my teammates and you know and, and, and I mean like whenever you're also, saving just... replays you're usually saving the ones that are you're not really thinking oh I got totally smashed let me save that one also I don't feel confident sending replays where I lost on a stream even though there's not um like like a thousand people watching, um, I just don't feel comfortable showing replays where I make a lot of silly mistakes that I realize, and I just don't feel like I need to be critiqued on that. I, you're, you're I feel like ready. I could pinpoint You're not my get own ready to, to hear the truth. <laughs> no! <laughs> you no, should change your main weapon. Did you hear what I fucking said? I said I don't want to be in. It, it's embarrassing for me to, like, show it to yeah. other people, like, live. Um, and I true, just, true. I prefer to do it private, privately. Like, if mm -hmm. this was a private uh, review, then I would be, I would happily show you uh, once yeah. where I did, where I didn't do it as well. But since there's other people here, I just feel really nervous. That's and just how I am. Bad player. <laughs> <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna go. It's, it's, um, what game is this? Haggle Fish Market, the... it's from Buns. Do we have messages from Buns? Where is it? Um, A minus, can someone tell me what happened? It is rock. Okay, so this one. So they lost. Uh, first game in A minus, and they're wondering what happened. Okay. Let's tell them what happened. Uh, so what happens? They've got range, they've got the two buckets, mm -hmm. and the enemy team also has some range, although less effective, I would say. First thing I'm noticing, no motion controls. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, uh, watching the flanks. Flanks are good, nobody's flanking for now. Uh, Buns is down there, okay. Pretty even. Okay, that dynamo is gonna be annoying, but you got rid of it. Um, I'm thinking they've got mm, they got they got good coverage of like both close range and also long to mid range. So I don't have any specific strats. Just play play well. <laughs> That's not really helpful. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not good enough to identify small stuff. God, Tantamus is, is really busted. Like, if you fire at multiple enemies, it paints so much. So mainly just to prevent the enemies from, from getting it back, from painting too much. Um, what can we see? I mean, your guys are dead, they're pushing up, and you don't, like, tar people, like, spread off. Uh, where is it? It's here, okay. Let me think. 
Okay, so first off, question: Why is the hydra not on the on the uh, roof of that thing? Well, that was that was an interesting booyah bomb, but you didn't play off of it. Like you, you really like you you sent the booyah bomb behind the um, splatling, but then you didn't like take advantage of that to like pressure the splatling from the front to and actually kill them. Uh, and yeah, the dynamo is in your base. They're shocking somewhere. Do they have um, ninja squid? Nope. But they have haunt. Uh, I mean, not haunt. Um, Thermalink. It's pretty smart, actually. Interesting hit. Yeah, here just, just focus on painting back the zone. Like you really need to paint back the zone now. Like you like paint the zone. Like like you need to paint the zone. Paint just paint the zone. You had so much time to paint the zone, you, you, and you painted somewhere else than the zone. That's probably what got it. Because especially when they don't have the um, the extra points to run down through uh, before actually scoring. Like when they can score directly, like every single second matters. You really want to like stop that and just at, even if if it's not a strong hold on the zone, you want to at least get it once. That way they get the extra points, and if they ever like get it back instantly, right? At least they're not scoring anymore. They're just like uh, chomping th through the extra points that they that you just added. Um. So okay. The next one is two Splattershot games. Which one are, are these? They are. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Which one is this? Pepper, pepper. I don't know which one these are. TV or 4K is like here. If we go up, we've got Mahi Mahi. This one. Mm -hmm. Here's some combats, okay. This is this one and. I guess that's the one. I guess I could look at the, the code. Darn. Okay, it's here. From Pepper. Anarchy Open Cromblitz 1 to 7 kill death ratio. Other team KO'd. Uh, the one right before is this one. We win, but only by luck. Okay. Okay, okay, so you wanna, like, figure out basically why you got totally clapped and didn't get a lot of kills and get got killed a lot. The splatter shot on splat zones might be me, actually. Oh, yes! Yes, it is you! No, is it? Oh, yeah, Gabby McFly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're from Discord! Yeah, I didn't make the connection between the names. Um... Okay, so splatter shot. Looking for... Understanding why they died. They're playing on Columblitz, okay. I'm looking at the team comps. Yeah. Seems like the enemy team has like two good options for hitting around like corners and above cover. Which is the machine and the and the blaster, 
And here they're kind of like painting your base good and setting up shop uh, near it. So mainly what you want to do is probably be sneaky and try to get take them down because if they've got a, a good position in your base, it's going to be really hard for you to fight. Like you probably want to go on the right here. Hold on. Um, wait, no. Oh, this place right here at the right, you could like set up uh, a flank over there. Uh, as long as you're sneaky enough. Um, or maybe go through the left. Like you have you have a lot of routes to take. Uh, like here, there's there are not really a ton of opponents. You could you could also go on the greats, right? You could go there and straight sk st uh, skip straight to mid. You could also like sneakily go down under the bridge and just try basically to get them from behind. Um, because you've got the better time to kill advantage. Um, as long as you're not directly in line of sight, the blaster cannot like one shot you, and same thing for the sloshing machine, it cannot one shot you. So yeah, just just be sneaky. Y use your advantage of like surprising them, and then you bamboozle them. And even if they turn around to fight you, you should have the advantage of being able to kill them faster. Wait, that's not the right person. Uh, just because of your time to kill. Use your bombs also, if you want to like g remove them from the perch, you can just use your bomb and say like, nope, that's not, you cannot stay here and be annoying. Like here, right, you don't have range, I would have just used a uh, suction bomb. Okay, that was a good throw. If, if you're finding yourself struggling to hold enemies off, ouch. If you're finding yourself struggling to hold enemies off, I would just go straight into like bomb spam mode. Just spam bombs because they can they they can't like kill a bomb, and if they stay where the bomb is, they're just gonna get killed. Like, and and maybe may, like spamming bomb is not gonna net you kills per se, but if you keep spamming them and like pushing the enemies further and further, it's gonna give you more working space and it, like balance out the fact that they're not gonna be in your base anymore, which is what you want. So just, yeah, I would just stay on ledges, stay in safe areas and just spam bombs. That's the best you can do right now. And farm for special, use your special to get even more range and outrange them. Like, if you're struggling, if the enemies are pushing too much, they're way too good, they're setting up shop in your base, do not try to fight them. If, if what you keep doing is like just jumping in and dying like you're doing right now, do not keep doing it. It's it's like it's not magically gonna change. You're not magically gonna be able to kill them. They're not magically gonna become worse. Just try to pay, play way more defensively. Even if it's slower, even if they're gonna keep scoring a bit more clams until they actually get off. But you need to get on defense mode. Um. Okay. <laughs> So it's been four hours, I'm starting to get a bit hungry, but it's fine. And this is from Pepper again. Let's see, let's see. So they say that this one they won, but only by luck. Japanese players. Oh, hold up, hold up. Hello, hello. The Japanese players usually have the um, the cut with the like straight hair for some reason. I mean, I guess that's that's a cut they have a lot in Japan. Um, like iron. Okay, uh, what can we say about this game? Also, I'm alone in the horse shed for now. Uh, which is why it's it's become so silent. Um, but anyways, wait, what am I looking at? Um, B? No, down. Okay, this is our player. Ouch. So we have a Hydra, we have a Goo Tuber, um, we have the Stemper, and on your side you have mainly Splatter Shots, which are more 
close range. The only thing you really have is the Flingza. It's not gonna get like kills at long range as much as the Hyper or the Gucci Bree is gonna get. Um, so yeah, that was. See, you try to push and basically the enemies didn't let you. I would probably set up shop up up top on the tower. We've got Ninja Squid. Yeah, I mean the the bomb throws are not like whenever you throw your bombs, you need to think ahead of where they're gonna. Like, where the bomb is gonna push them, or like if they're gonna move, right? If they're gonna move out of the way, instead of throwing the bomb exactly where they are at right now, just throw it forward. I mean, here, what I'm noticing is that you're, you're kind of like getting stuck down there in that area. You're just kind of like going back and forth between these two if you're struggling to move up because the the hydra like right the hydra has a good uh, viewing angle on this area and this one and you can't really move up just maybe try to be sneaky around down there maybe go go under the the bridge and try to flank the hydra and kill it or maybe you can go through the right like super jump back to your spawn and and go through there don't be limited to to the movement options that you physically see in front of you think outside of the box look at your map look at places that are unexplored yet places where there aren't a lot of enemies and try to go through there and especially do not sleep on the grates right it's it's not somewhere where a lot of people usually go um but it is definitely a place that you can go and, and if you remember that you can go there you can actually set up some cool flanks over, over here um, but anyways. I haven't seen you use your bubble too much. I mean, granted, I was looking at the map half the time, but maybe that that would be the time to use your bubbler in, in mid and just secure. Like, right? You had your bubbler for so long, you could have used it there, and and like maybe instead of going to this side of the map, just stay in mid, use your bubbler, and just defend there, because yeah, you you really don't need to paint over there. You like you you would have had way more success just having your bubble there, painting a bit of mid, and getting an, uh, a route for your teammates to put the, the um, clams in. Okay. So you said you won this game. Um, so interesting, it's gonna be an over then, uh, overtime then. Okay, and then extra clams. Okay, good. I mean that that was risky, but it worked. I'm getting tired. I'm, to, I'm sorry. If my commentary becomes uh, worse. Rock sent me a message. Replay. Quick. 
Um, okay, 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 so we did this one, we did the last one, we've got this one from Seven Tie. Um, with, okay, enter the spillway, tower control on, with the brush, with the brella, uh, the brella, wait, yeah, sorry, uh, I'm missing names up. Look, I looked at the code. Actually, hold on. I'm kind of confused on which one this replay is. RQ WG. Okay, so this is the one from Large Iron Bowl on Discord. Uh, they're, they're saying not really asking for feedback, but watch at your own risk. I hope this is the right code. Okay, okay. Um, they single handedly make me want to yank my hair out, uh, but I respectfully acknowledge that their team comp instantly outmatched ours. Like, insanely match outmatched ours. Uh, Weapon-wise and mechanically speaking, okay. So what's the team comp exactly? They've got bows. Yeah, okay, on tower control, the Clash Luster is going to be good for annoying the tower. Same for the Ink Brush. And the, you've got two great range options with the Explosher and the, um, and the bow, which can hit above. Like, they have arcing shots, which is especially great on this map because you can kill people, like on the other side of the little, like, ridge in the middle of the map. Um, and on your side, you've got Sniper, which is not bad. But yeah, like, ma mainly your options for fallout damage is the Carbon Roller, which is gonna have a hard time getting in, basically, because of, uh, they have such strong close-range options and also long-range options. So you mainly want to have your Sniper... I don't, I don't really, I don't have really a lot of tips. You, you know, you want to go slower and they're, they're going to be really good at pressuring you by, by firing at you. And if you don't respect their pressure, you're, you're just going to end up dying. So you need to play more slower and more defensively, just paint. Because here you're, you're going to fight the, um, the bow. But the question is, can you go back and, and retreat safely if you ever get ambushed? And the answer is probably not, because you have lots of splotches of enemy ink in there. Like, if you want to go retreat back to your base, you don't really have an easy route there, especially when you were all the way over there. You really need to play slower and, and just play the painting game. Um, that's what I think, personally. Okay, good. I mean, okay, 
you use your special, the tri strike, you used all of your shots on the tower, which there wasn't anybody on the tower at the time, I would have probably used at least like one or two of the strikes to block off the enemy that's, that was right there so that he couldn't get to you. Um, uh, yeah. Basically, the tri strike is great at, at controlling enemies. It's like splat bombs. Um, they have like great zone control, and you get three of them, and they're really powerful. You just need to aim them well. Yeah, here you're getting way too close to danger. You have like ink there, and and the ink brush like basically got behind you already. And yeah, that, that that's gonna be hard to fight, especially if they have the upper ground because of j just because of how the ink brush works. It has full of damage. Um, they've got like yeah, they've got way too strong of a push in your base. Like you're not gonna be able to do anything if you just keep pushing to the tower and getting ambushed from the sides, because they can easily move up on you because of the amount of pain that they got. Like, right, this this is extremely annoying for you guys to fight against that guy behind you, and while you're focusing on that guy, which was able to get in because of the amount of pain they got, you you're not focusing on the tower, and they just they they can just like obliterate you. Well, I mean, you, you said you didn't necessarily need feedback or want feedback, but I, I still I still had some feedback to give, so maybe if you watch, you maybe you're gonna learn something or not, I don't know. I'm not a pro player. Um, okay, okay, okay. With the replay, next one from... Which one is it from? Uh, Sturgeon Shipyard, Clamblets on... Okay, R6. This is Anarchy Up and Clams. I wanted to try using Brella and it honestly went quite well. Me getting 87 KD, which leaves me just barely in the positive for it. Is there any tips that you could get you guys might have for what I could have done better? Let's see. Although that kill to death uh, ratio has a hundred percent assists, okay. Oop. Uh, so they've got range. I guess, I guess this platinum stamper hat is technically a range weapon. Just doesn't really feel like it. But I, I do feel like they've got more effective range options. Okay. Uh, there you, you probably need to be to play safer while your teammates respawn. Probably, probably get the high ground on on the towers because you have a lot of enemies. They're also flanking you from down below. Like, right? I guess you can just push and dunk. That works. Usually whenever I play, I play way, way slower. I just play patiently. I play the waiting game. I'm, try I'm trying to do the same thing as, as pro players, I, I see pro players do. Uh, probably not doing as effectively or good at all. But that's what I'm trying to do. Here they got good paint on in, in your base. And they already got close and got the clam in. I was just focused on painting back, just getting pain control again. I don't really know what you're doing there. Especially like throwing your sub in a place where you already have all of your ink. And like yeah, here you took the clam, so now you're a big target and you don't necessarily have a route to take that clam to the basket yet. Like you have three enemies there, just like ready to take you on. Um, and like, okay, I I don't know exactly 
Um, wait, no, that's not you. This is you. Okay. Um, I guess one strategy on this map, which I am like, because sometimes you know that thing, uh, that platform is higher up, and then you can just skip these two parts that are kind of risky and just go straight up and throw the clown from up there. That's a strat that that works, and I use it whenever I see that thing up. Um, but I don't really like pay attention to when it goes up and down. But maybe if you do that, then you can ha you can actually wait for a good time to start a push and then use that platform and just get a, an assured dunk, basically. And then from up there, if you stay up there, you can just paint the enemy's base um, and help your teammate basically get the extra clams. Um, so that's something to consider. Okay, we do. Nice. Super jumping. Okay, watch out though, there are people behind in your base. To, to use the um, try strike because you can't get into your ink. So you're more exposed. Ouch. Well, getting down there was not a good idea, in my opinion. Like, right now. Especially because, like, they managed to get the kills. Oh, and they keep getting the kills. This is not good. Uh, what we've done is just like stay on the ledge up there and just fire down and and basically paint over them and prevent them from from moving around and that way they can be killed easier um, because you know getting kills is great um because if you manage to like just go in and kill them all, that's perfect. Like you, you just gotta wipe out, bam, good. Uh, they can't throw clams anymore, and that that is great, just amazing. Thing is, if you're not a hundred percent confident that you're gonna get the kills and that you're gonna get the wipeout and that you're gonna like hold them off by doing this, and if you have like the slightest the slightest doubt that you might like get killed yourself instead of killing them, then maybe what you should do is not go in. And just play the slow game. Yes, it's going to be slower. Yes, it's not going to be as effective as getting kills. And like, sure, painting over them is good and all. It's maybe like going to make them struggle. Maybe you're going to get kills at some point. It's slow. But it's also safer. It's better than getting wiped out yourself, your team, as, as you did. Like you were basically going in and then one by one because one, you kept jumping in alone without your teammates. And just getting picked off by the three people that were camping in your base. So we just like wait for your teammates. While your teammates come, you just paint over your enemies and make them struggle a bit more. Uh, Nintendo fan says, "Well, oh Chris, time for me to head to bed. Have a great rest of your stream. Thank you, and and see you. Bye." Um. Okay. Next game. We've got Bublob. Bublob. On Mahi Mahi, Splat Zones. The Splat Zones, the Splat Zones might be me. So, Bob Blob, 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 RL, where is it? 
Or, oh, it is Gabby Magpie. Yes, that is you. Hello, Gabby Magpie. Are you still there? Because uh, that is your game. It is your game right there. Uh, and you're gonna do it. Yeah. Okay, so do you have any anything specific? Uh, I think you asked. Would someone look at your screenplay, please? I got a lot closer than you would have liked. Or even if you won, I noticed that we played really aggressively and our plays happened to coincide. Yeah, so whenever you played aggressively and tried to push, you, you got wiped out. I died way too many times this one and we almost lost. Okay. So this is Splat Zones on Mahi Mahi. Uh, they got a Hydra, which is definitely going to be annoying. So like staying here is not a good idea. You really want to flank that Hydra and, and shut it down as fast as you can. You, yeah, to insert the Hydra, you have the the bow. So the bow also wants to basically assist assist you in the same way the Hydra does for the enemies. Uh, let's look at the map layout just a bit. I guess what you guys can do is like go over that side um, on the lower platforms here. If you need to have an angle on the Hydra, if the Hydra ever stands here, right? They cannot really see you with that thing uh, standing there. As long as you go through the left side, that thing protects you like visually. The Hydra won't be able to shoot at you and you can like get close to it if you ever need to get rid of it. Um, so you are the splash, okay. Yep. Okay, but now that the map has changed, uh, layouts. Let's see how you guys can approach. I guess standing in the spot where you were back then would be m much more effective now because you've got some cover. So that's good. Um, I uh, hold, let, let, let me go back. Wait, no, that's not you. Where are you? You're there. Let me, let me look at your plays instead of like focusing on the maps. I think the carbon is still behind. No, it's not actually. Okay, good super jump there. So that you can get an angle for the for the Trizuka. It's pretty cool. Okay, yeah, the super jumps are not like you you don't need to super jump that much on this map. Uh, because it's kind of smaller. So here their points are going to run out, so you, you want to like try to at least get get their, the zone back just to get, give them another set of points to run through again. Okay, good, good. Nice. And I mean, yeah, I, I get what you say about like playing aggressively, and I don't think that's necessarily wrong considering your team composition, because you don't really have... Like, you guys are mostly close range, you have the mini-splatling, which has a slightly bit more range. I guess the mini-splatling could, could take position on on the tower, which they're not doing currently. And they're using splat bombs. Yeah, getting in is not really what the, what the mini-splatling should do, because it, it does have enough range to fire from the tower on, onto the zone, um, and actually paint the zone pretty effectively and give you guys uh, like space to fight on the zone basically yeah okay here they're holding you off very good um you really want to go on the zone like just go on the tower and just paint from the tower right they, they can't really shoot you from the tower and yeah, personally, I wouldn't have used the Trizuka there because you really needed to focus more on, on painting the zone. Like, thankfully, you guys got the zone, but like, if, if you didn't, um, like, it, it would have just kept taking down and you would have probably lost. Yeah, you're playing a bit too aggressive, in my opinion. Like, this is, this is dangerous. Personally, whenever I play, I, I never get into situations where I feel like I, I could not get out of. 
I can, I, I can kind of call out whenever I go into a, um, a situation where whenever you see a lot of enemy ink around you, you should feel uncomfortable, right? You should be like, mm, I don't know if I'm supposed to stay there. Uh, maybe I should put more paint around myself. Maybe I should go closer to my base where there's more paint. Okay, that super jump was risky, but it, it worked. But I, I wouldn't have suggested it. Like, if, if you're gonna go into their base, I would probably set up shop on their tower, right? Or on the block in, in their side of the map, like this block right here. Because that way you can fire from their backs and you have some cover, actually, to do that from. Um... Yeah. Because, like, you're, you're flanking a player, right? Like, you, you fired at that player that was right here. But then you had like two other players firing at you from the side, so it's good. You're, you're kind of focusing on one of the players that you want to kill, and you kill them very effectively. But you're not focusing on the other ones which are going to kill you very effectively too. Um, yeah. Just play safer, I guess. Just play slower. Whenever you see pros play, or from what I gather, whenever I see pros play, they play so slowly and it works. So just slow down. Thanks for the feedback, really helpful. I'm, gl I'm glad to help. That's nice. I, I, if I can help by just saying random stuff in a microphone, that's cool. <laughs> Um, so here we got snipers, uh, sniper, sniper, I think he, the person specifically mentioned, I am learning 4k, I feel like I'm having trouble hitting shots, is there anything I can do on top of practicing hit, hitting targets slash players? So let's look at the game and give feedback. Um, yeah. So they've got splash shot, carpenter, lots of close range, and one sniper. And here, they've got way more range actually. Uh, so what are you guys playing? Oh, turf war. Okay. Well, in turf war, there isn't really a, a specific objective to push um, so people are just in general gonna be moving around a lot more and they're gonna be harder to like they're not gonna stay in one spot for you to pick off uh, such as like whenever you're playing tower control right they stay on the tower when you're playing rainmaker they have a big hit marker and they move slow uh, same for clown blitz they you, like you see them easier um, so yeah turn 4 is definitely hard up uh, the harder mode to play for the sniper and especially like sniper is a good uh, snipers are very good at painting uh, so in turf war you should mostly focus on painting not so much on painting people like here that was very risky of you to get so close uh, to that person to try and, and kill them you really don't need to do that Why are you charging with an ink tank? Yeah, it's good that you're holding holding them off basically by just applying pressure. That's pretty cool. I don't have anything to add to this. It's it's pretty solid. I guess now just your your teammates need to like take advantage of this. Maybe what you can start doing is like start pushing over on this block. Um, it seems relatively safe to me. I mean, except for that flings a player. But yeah, if you've got an advantage already, you can start pushing up. Uh, wait, that's not you. Where are you? You're down there. Okay. But but it's also a good strategy to just hold on to your position. And yeah, admittedly, I like the fact that you're struggling with your shots is not so much about like you being a a bad player not knowing how to play the sniper it's just on this map especially there's a lot of like a lot of lots of walls like the middle 
of the map is just covered in walls and the walls are also very high up so like if you are on the wall and you're trying to hit from there it's kind of awkward to hit enemies that are like below them right for example like the last time you struggled to hit the player that was right there just because of that wall is way too high and and so yeah this map is awkward to fight for snipers unless of course you're playing on let's say tower control where the tower is actually going to elevate the enemies so they're at, at the same level as you and that makes it easier um, but yes, that it's normal if you struggle to hit players on this map. It's it's not easy. And like as you can see, like first off, like as we said in mid, there's a lot of cover, and also the cover is very high, so it's hard to hit. But also, uh, when they're like closer to their base, they've got lots of walls to protect them, so that it's it makes it even harder to do anything. Uh, so it's definitely not on your fault, uh, but you did a good job with the sniper, just like pressuring them and preventing them from pushing. We've got two bow games uh, from Robin. Oh, okay. So this is from um, from Robin. So first one he says he got absolutely demolished, and the second one he says that he managed to turn things around on the same team. And he used toxin mace. Uh, I, I remember like we I, I gave them tips on toxic mist because they were asking um, yep toxic mist okay go on. Mm. personally I would rather take heights oh you're running um what is that ability called? Haunt? No, it's... Uh... Termalink. I, I keep messing up the two. But yeah, um... Termalink, okay. I guess honestly, you just like set up shop on the perch right here, yeah. Because you need the height if you want to like see people over cover and hit with your heart ar arcing shots. It's what you do best. Like you really don't need to be there. If you, if you were to be up top here, you could basically hit at the same range, just just fire your normal shots and, and just cover the zone. And you could get closer on that perch and fire over the, the right side, um, basically over the cover, right? Without having to get in danger. Uh, where are you exactly? You're here. Yeah, and especially because here you can't really see people on the right and you just got like crushed by the roller. I would really focus on, on getting to the perch and... Ouch. Okay. Do they have ninja squid? Yes, they do. Mm. Yeah, just, just be careful. Paint a lot. Because, like, that, that roller could be anywhere right now and... You're not gonna be able to defend. Okay, uh, quick tip. If... If the enemies are ever pushing like really hard in your side of the base, just get up there. It's, it's great, like on, on the side. Uh, and you can fire from there, especially like with your bow. It's very good at, at firing from above. Um, so that's something I would suggest doing. Yeah, here, I would suggest just watching your back because I saw someone behind. Yep, rollers coming in. Again, if, if you see you're struggling with people coming in that area, just get up there. Uh, in, in a pinch, you just get up there, you g get them off your base, and then you can start pushing forward from there. And most of the time it works, unless the enemy, like you're playing against a very, very strong team. But I mean, if you're playing against a strong team, you're probably already at a level where you, you know you're screwed if they ever start a push anyways. So you don't let them push and you, you just play the slow game. Okay. Yep, and you kind of struggle to get kills. So, okay, second game uh, went a bit better apparently and you guys won. So I, w I wonder if that's because you, you will take better positions on the map. And it's mostly against the same team. 
I don't know if it's the exact same though. I'm not paying that much attention. Um. Okay, nice shot. This zone is yours. Yeah, right now I see like uh, a, a few people pushing on the right, so I would have already backed off. And like here, what you need desperately is to have info on where the enemies actually are. Okay, those like. The fact that you survived uh, in those situations is very lucky. Hon honestly, I, w I would attribute this more to luck than anything else. That's cool. You're, you're keeping the zone. So that, okay, that's a good spot to stay. You, I, I don't think you should have jumped down there. There was no reason because there was, there were no enemies to like get closer to. You could have just stayed there. Your objective right now is not really to push enemies as much as it is to just paint the zone and especially because your your weapon is very good at painting if you charge your shots um you have the, the first um like when the shots land it paints and like if enemies try to paint over it the explosion is going to paint again so it's really great at, at preventing them from painting the zone you just you should just like focus really hard on painting the zone and staying up there safely Yep, nice. Okay, well, you're definitely staying up there uh, a lot more, and it's definitely holding them back um, a lot more. Here, you, okay, you see how there are people like on the on the right side behind the wall. I would totally. Oh, and also there was a kill right behind you. I don't know if you, if you saw that on the HUD. Like, those things would, like, definitely tip me off and make me be more careful. Like, if I see people, if I see ink shots from there, I would probably move up here, like, over here on the block, and uh, start basically firing at them and, like, pushing them back. And especially if I see a kill behind me, I would totally turn around and, like, check out what's going on. Maybe, like, paint it again over over them because they, they went in and painted. Um, so, yeah. But for now it's going good, so no no complaints. It's mostly good. Th thankfully your teammates were there to assist you and like, kill, kill the people that were coming behind you. So that's good. And yes, uh, as we can see, you're definitely using that perch more and playing your weapon role def definitely a lot better than last game. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Just putting the spots. Like, I, I could totally... Well, yeah, the game ended, but what I could have done... Y you know, one thing that could be really useful to, like, gauge how much you're having of an impact on a game is, like, instead of you looking at your own POV, you could look at an enemy. Like, whenever you see two players fight together, um, like whenever you see yourself fighting with someone else, just go to that person and basically see how much, like, how much they struggle against you. And then you can gauge how much of an impact you're having. Or, like, if they're trying to paint the zone, right? And then you see that they get painted over by, by a bow, that is you, basically. But, like, from their POV, you're seeing them struggle. And then you're like, mm, okay, now I'm doing a good job. Because if I were to be that person... I would not like to play against someone that plays like I did. Uh, so I can I can try this right now and and see. Maybe that's something something to do. Uh, I thought I could do more whenever I do VOD reviews. Just switch POVs to get a feel for how annoying you actually are from from another perspective. It, it's great. Um, so if I just like skip around a bit, like over there. Like, here you're down there, you're fighting against, like, X, okay. You're not really, like, here you're backing off. Like, you're, you're not able to hit above the cover. Uh, if I go back to, whoop, to you, 
Right, that guy can just push up on you because you don't really have a vantage point to fight them. We just skip around a bit more. Alright, slow. Just slow. Boom. Okay, there you get. Uh, you're probably already on top of the. No, not yet. So that guy on Y. Not struggling that much. Just, just getting in. And yeah, pushing up on you. And then you get someone super jumping in. But okay, they got they got taken care of. Now you're getting up there. It's already much harder. Yeah, that guy was not doing anything. You're an X, okay. X, 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 X. So let's see. Okay, yeah. That guy on B. Is, okay, you're shooting at them. It's really hard for them to do anything. I'm trying to get the zone. But they're seeing a lot of basically shots fired at them from from somewhere that, where they can't even fight you, basically. You're just fighting them real good. But fighting... You're fighting them in a place where they, they can't fight back, so it's basically more annoyance for them to deal with, and they can't do anything about it. It's They, they just gotta take care of your teammates while trying to avoid your shots, and if they successfully get rid of your teammates, then they can start moving up and pushing up on you, but for now, they can't do that. Uh, so right now, A, that guy is struggling, okay, Robin Hood, Wipeout, okay, that's good, let's skip around more, maybe, I mean, you guys are already at the end of the game, but like, if I, if I do this, if I go on B, yeah, that, that guy is struggling a bit, <clears throat> you're really like, aggroing him, A is not doing anything, X is struggling with your shots, yet. <clears throat> so, as you can see, you're definitely having way more of an impact. Um, yep, good. That was interesting. To switch around to the enemy team. <laughs> Okay. Switch replay. Next one. Um, okay, so we got these two games down. We got m two more games to do, and then we're done. Oof. So two bull point games. What is the, the thing that you're asking? Weapon. Bull points battling map undertow spillway mode clamblets. Okay. Rank S series solo queue. Okay. I was having a hard time last night figuring out how to play clamblets on undertow as an anchor. The map is so small that it seems like there's no way to approach. And splatted enemies rejoin the action very fast. Whenever I decided I was too passive and chose to push, I always failed. Meanwhile, I felt like the enemy was just wa waltzing into our base, even when I'm on defense. I know it's a me problem because I went 0-4 last night, my team only ever breaking their basket once. Uh, I'm two in two separate games. I think the issue is not being aware of my teammates positions, but I could use some guidance on this one. Uh, let's, let's check it, let's check it. So this is from Neon Wyvern, two games. Um, I died too many times, this one almost lost, thanks for the feedback really helped me, okay, I looked over this one too and I put some feedback in the channel, okay, I'm gonna look at it afterwards, so, they've got range with the, with the um, range blaster and the, I keep forgetting the freaking name of that thing, the Dewey Squelchers, um, and you guys got the Bullpoint and the Sniper, uh, which is cool, and they've got Brushes, which, if the Brushes get up on you, if you if you go on the perch on the left, uh, right here, it might be, like, if, if the Brush, like, successfully gets around you, uh, it's gonna be hard, 
Uh, to do anything. Ouch. Yeah, I would definitely like set up shop on the perch right now and use my range a bit more. I mean, granted the ball point, so it's a good close range fighting weapon. So maybe in the beginning of the game you can like use the close range paint to just like paint the zone around you. Uh, but then once you're done with that, uh, you should probably switch to being more so a, a ranged player. Because um, you, you do have range, right? Where are you? Where are you? You're here. Okay. So once you're done painting, um, just switch to being a ranged player. Yeah, that brush is pushing up. Like, don't stay close at all. He's right behind the cover. You do not want to stay there. He's, he's basically just playing with you right now. Like from, from his movement. If you see how he's moving. He's just waiting there, being a bait. Like, honestly, more so than than staying in here and trying to fight them up front, I would, like, go up there. Like, if people are trying to flank you guys on this side, you can just, like, intercept them with your range. Um, Because, yeah, this is not going to do good. And and so, like, if you get up, up top, right, you can intercept people that are on the other side of the map. And um, if they ever, like, break through, right, first off, if they're down below, below the glass, they cannot shoot you. And whenever they like manage to get like through you're up there and ready to shoot at them from the back which is even even better okay so right now you're up into their base uh and you you have like two down so right now they there there's four of them on the map and they could get a clam anytime and push it into your base so it's definitely not a good idea to be so close to their base alone like you're not gonna do much and yeah, good thing you have the fizzy bombs. I'm not thinking about that too much, but it could be an interesting way to hold them off. There you didn't, you really didn't need to get that close to kill that guy. In my opinion. Like, to me, the ball, um, the main use of the rapid fire blast is really to get people off of you whenever they get too close. Or maybe in some situations where the map has a lot of cover. Uh, like square, squarish cover maybe, or like some grates. I would use the rapid fire to basically clap people, like just get out of cover, hit them, kill them instantly, go back into cover. That's basically the play, but otherwise just use your range. Um, yeah, here I, I would most likely use the fizzy bombs to cover at, at range. Like you use the fizzy bombs, you cover more over in this area, and then you use your close range shots to fire the surroundings um, to get to get more paint in your base and defend. Yeah, not not good. You really need to play more patiently with the ball point. It's not because it has like rapid fire shots that that kill very fast. That it is a close range weapon like a like a splatter shot would be right. It, you you need time to charge those shots. I mean, granted, not as much time because you can just like recharge in the middle, so you can just like start firing and then recharge after a few shots. It's definitely you can react faster, but keep in mind that it's still a, a um, splatling, so you still need time to set up fights. And the, the, the fast fire rate mode is mainly only when you've got great cover on the map. Like, jumping down here was really not beneficial. You didn't have any charge, you were jumping into mostly enemy ink. Just play patiently. I if you really want to get people off, don't don't jump jump into the fray. If you really want to push them back, use your fizzy bombs and use your long range shots. Cause like think about it, you've got you've got good perch there. Uh, you've got the high ground, you can use your long range shots, because the long range shots aren't only long range, but they're also very accurate. So what you can do is, basically if they stay and put the clams into your basket, sure, they're gonna be like one or two, but then you just keep firing at them very precisely, and if they don't move, which they're not gonna do if they keep firing, you're just gonna splat them, and then boom, their push is over, and then you can start preparing for yours, with a numbers advantage. Uh, 
Uh, yep. Okay, so you say not this one, the other one. Okay. The other one? Which one? Because uh, here there are two bullpoint games, and I don't, I don't have anything else apart from the bullpoint games. Like that's that's the end of it. So let's look at your second bullpoint game and give you some tips. So here you got killed more than you got kills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the enemy team did way better, especially the squelchers. They probably were able to evade your shots better, actually, the squelchers, because they have dodges. The second bullpoint game, I mean, okay. Uh, well, let's let's check it then. Oh, uh, here, boop, boop. Okay, let's check. Bullpoint. point. Okay, you got the um, the squelchers in your team now, uh, but they've got the hydra. The hydra is gonna be good to paint basically the middle, which is gonna make it really easy for the enemy team to get get to your base easily right so okay here is really not a good position you want to be in you have basically no angle at the enemies you, you cannot shoot at them like see i see paint like right behind you right now that you shouldn't stay here like that guy is right behind you he's right there there are people right here they're pushing and if they weren't pushing they would like just hit you in the back and and like see like you've got a clamp but what what good is it for because you're not doing anything here like, you're really not doing anything here, you're just waiting with an open back, just waiting to be shot at. Because, okay, so the Hydra is, uh, where's the Hydra? It's here. The Hydra is going to probably go on the perch on the left side, which it definitely seems like it, it is. And it's going to try to paint the middle. That's basically, that's basically going to be its strat. Just paint the middle, maybe get a, a few kills, and just help its team. I mean, maybe get a lot of kills, because you guys are pushing way too hard. Um, where are you got okay, you're here. But yeah, it's gonna try to paint the, the it's gonna try to paint the middle. So what I would do as a bullpoint, point, the the next best painting weapon in your squad, and also the the squelchers can also do that. Is just get on the perch or like near it, and just paint the middle to make to basically counteract what the hydra is gonna do. Cause like see that that's a lot of paint that he just put, and he also got a kill with it on you, by the way. But yeah, just just. If you see, whenever you see the enemy team and, and you kind of like figure out what their team comp is going to do, just try to see what equivalent you could be to the enemy team. If you have a Hydra, right, it's a ballpoint, it has a lot of like, fast firing rate, you could probably be the equivalent to this and basically counteract it by doing the exact same thing but for your team instead. Um, and maybe like if you don't have a Hydra on the enemy team and you have another style weapon, uh, like a mini splatling, then you can just act like a mini splatling because you can also do that. If you have, uh, I don't know, just just see what your weapon can do and see what the enemy's team can do and see what what kind of roles you can basically be an equivalent to. Um, so right now. Uh, I am struggling with the controls. Yeah, this is bad. Yeah, this is bad. I get. Yeah, mainly they had a good control on, on the middle of the map, in my opinion. Um, and that Hydra was definitely a problem. I think. I mean, I need to look at the scores, but I, I think the Hydra was was probably getting a good amount of kills and paint. Probably. I don't know. I didn't pay attention that much. Do -do 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 -do. I mean, Clash Blaster got a lot of kills too, I guess. When's the Clash Blaster? I mean, they all got pretty. I mean, you guys got more kills though. But you still died. Okay, I, th I think it's mainly the brush not contributing as much um, during this game. Probably. But see, at the same time, as I want to say that the brush didn't contribute as much, like, the Octobrush, first off, it's not as good as the Inkbrush as, at, like, just moving into enemy ink, because it has, like, it doesn't have the protection when it walks into enemy ink. So it's more f so of a close-range fighter, mostly. 
uh, but the thing is, it's gonna struggle to get in if it doesn't have a lot of paint. And it's also not that good at painting. Uh, it's not actually that good. And so that's the thing. The Hydra was really painting the middle a lot. So your brush, your Octobrush couldn't do a lot to get in and actually be useful. Whereas maybe if you painted a little bit more and maybe if your Sculpture also did that, the Octobrush could have like gotten in corners. Uh, maybe behind the... Um, I, I, I can't like explain precisely where but like they could have gotten closer to the fight and actually do some damage up close if, if you guys painted for it um i i think okay so that's all of the games this is all of the game uh i guess i do have some games over here which maybe i could like some personal games of mine so here as I was talking um, earlier about the, the the game, which like we basically got uh, destroyed by a team, which like really pushed hard on the Rainmaker. This is the one, so I could like show it and and give some tips on this one also, because I did watch it and like, yeah, I wanted to see the enemy's POV. Now I can't believe you got through all of them. That was a lot. Yeah, I mean, you gotta keep in mind. See, I'm pausing. I, d I didn't pause through the whole entirety of, of that thing. I'm just like giving rapid fire tips because whenever Jem, I assume, makes VOD reviews, he's like basically seeing every single little interaction. Oh, you died there? He's pausing. He's saying, oh, you could have done this and this and this to not die, basically. He's giving like optimal tips of like what you would have done if you if you'd have been the best player ever, not dying a single time, not doing anything. But here, in that case, we're not reviewing, like, high-level VODs. We're reviewing people who, like, struggle with more basic uh, concepts. So I'm, I don't need to pause as much. I, I can just, like, look at what is overall happening and seeing, okay, you didn't paint as much. Okay, maybe people are flanking you. Okay, maybe you're not focusing on the objective as much. I mean, that's that's me who's not doing that. Uh, but yeah, just general tips. It's much easier to give feedback. Like, right, I can just like hover on the map and basically ignore the player. Um, wait, hold on, because that's my game. But basically, yeah, I can just hover on the map, give explanations, and just ignore the player. Because I'm not focusing on, on like every single interaction. I'm, I'm focusing on the big, bigger picture, which you cannot necessarily see whenever you're playing a game. Like, maybe you can look at your map a bit. Um, but it's not going to give you as much of a good view as just watching the whole map like this is like this is very useful and that's what I can do for players just get in a replay and boom uh, give you a, a, an overall picture and some commentary of what has been happening but anyways about what has been uh, happening let's go back to the beginning <gasps> wait the markers you put actually stay on to oh this is this is fire so that means i can like if i have like specific vods i wanna like showcase stuff in i can just put uh some markers in there like like the oh yes 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 this is great oh this is amazing so basically i can just put markers and just like go through the markers and like show highlight moments of the games which i i want to like explain what happened but yeah, that's cool. So if we if we uh, go there and we go to maybe not my POV, just just stand there, like hover. You can see all of us are going through the middle. I mean, except one player, and same for the enemy team, they're going around. But you can see they they really like focused on on hitting the the rainmaker real hard, and they got it, and that killed one of us. One of us was all the way over there, so that it didn't do anything. They got it through the checkpoint, which was really close since the beginning. And now we're kind of like at a numbers disadvantage. They pop the ball ball again. They're just firing, oppressing us. Like, right, hold on. Um, can I go back a bit? So as the Rainmaker, as the player got the Rainmaker again, right? He fired a shot up top. And basically that shot kind of gave protection to these two players moving up on me and killing me. And that guy, like, right, he can just, like, continue moving, while these guys, which were able to move up, can just, like, uh, continue applying pressure. And basically, we, we just got killed. Like, thankfully, we stopped that Rainmaker, like, for a split second, but that wasn't enough to stop them. They were, like, really pushing so hard and firing the Rainmaker shots in the exact positions to help their teammates. 
that, yeah, I guess if you are the Rainmaker, a good tip would be to just fire in the general direction of your teammates. Because if you think about it, if you're the Rainmaker, you're behind, your teammates are in front of you to try to protect you, and basically they're acting as a wall. But they're not an impermeable wall, because if they get killed, the, the the enemies are just gonna get to you and get through the players. So what you can do is like fire in their general direction, because if they're in front of you, right, the enemies, if they want to get to you, to the Rainmaker and kill you, they got to go through your enemies, so they're necessarily gonna have to fight them at some point. And if you throw shots towards your your allies, you're throwing them towards the fight, you're actually contributing to maybe getting kills, you're giving them a bit of cover, you're giving them pain to, to get back. You're just like, in general, it's, it's great to have your teammates in front of you, protecting you, and you do the same. You protect them from range. You, you basically become a sort of... I mean, I, I don't know what the, what the Rainmaker is an equivalent to in terms of weapon. Kind of, kind of like an Explosher, maybe, but like way stronger. It's it's a half and half between an explosion and a booyah bomb. So just imagine you can spam booyah bombs on your teammates, and uh, that's what you should do. Just just do that. Just be really aggressive, and it works. Sometimes it works. I mean, y y you know, I yeah, I see pro players like b they play the slow game on modes like tower control and stuff but whenever you play rainmaker it's mostly just rush in pop the bubble and whenever you pop the bubble you if you got kills with the bubble pop you just start rushing in if you didn't get kills then you 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 slow down and you wait you wait for people to maybe like rush in grab the rainmaker you kill them numbers advanced now you can push in so it's it's still a slow game but not at the beginning. At the beginning, is you really need to rush, and if you get a successful uh, rush, then you can keep on rushing and maybe get an instant knockout. Um, Gabby Magpie said, "Yeah, I was going to say that when you analyze the team comps in the beginning, you should probably pause long. I mean, I, not necessarily, because in the beginning of the game, there's not a lot of stuff happening. You're just getting to the middle of the map, so." I can, I can just analyze the team comps while you're getting there. Because nothing is going to happen. You're just going to paint the ground. Uh, it would also be better to have a few people focusing on the match in the beginning. Rather than an open call. An open call? What do, we, what do we mean by that? Also, you say fun stream though. Thank you. I have a few people focusing on the match in the beginning. Rather than an open call. The beginning. What, what do you mean by beginning? I get what you mean by being like... Do you mean like in the in the beginning of the stream where we had like so many people in the, in the voice chat? Yeah. The Discord call in the beginning had a lot of people who weren't focused. Well, that, that, yeah, that's, that is not really because of... I mean, the, you know, I'm, I'm not in my server, I'm in, in Squid School server, I don't have a dedicated channel for like, oh, we're doing VOD reviews, so people are just, oh, what are you, what are you doing, hello, I'm, I'm, do you want to play Splatoon? I'm like, no, I'm doing VOD reviews. That's, they, they don't know what I'm doing, that's why, I don't have a specific channel for, for what I'm doing. But yeah, we, we moved, and then, but it's fine, it's fine. We, we got through the stream, it's cool. So we're done with this uh, stream. It has been running for five hours. I am hungry. I am tired. I am dead. I am also a bit. Um, I don't know. It, the, it went weird. The, uh, wait, hold on. Do I have another game? Maybe. What was this game all about? I don't know. No. Well, whatever. It's not time to look at that. Okay. Uh, thank you for tuning in. If you do want to follow, I uh, often play some Splatoon on there. Uh, and we're having fun with people playing together. Uh, Salmon Run online, doing fun comps, dumb comps with lots of dumb gear. Because we love doing that over there. Uh, sometimes I do 3D modeling of Splatoon. And on Fridays at 2am, I do... 
to AMC ESD precisely, I do the VOD reviews, which is cool. Um, and now, after this stream, I'm gonna have to sleep and then instantly start working on <laughs> the the VOD of the VOD review to put it on YouTube and have all the timestamps, so that's gonna be fun. But yes, definitely, if you if you do want to follow, that would be nice, cool, and see you. Bye.